Yeah, like, are I'm going to go for a second just to, like, Eventually. look around, but last time I tried, Can you just get it? my... Thing. There's only... At the moment, there's only 464 people who have completed it. Do you, is there like a new game plus where you have to beat a... This looks no? cool and nope. terrifying. You just, it's a brand new run. This is permadeath. I think it's worse One than me you know, I'm that's literally game. like right there. I'm, that's me. Long rest and camp are more limited. Yeah, I forgot we were like splitting that. For food. It's you. What do you mean by new, um, one save? You come to see the game one time? <laughs> what you did you save? get into? Oh, you only have one load save. Yep. If that's you, that's what you get And um, you can't, like, if you're losing or something, you can't restart the game. You can't uh, save scum. So if you're going to something, you have to know you're going to win. Hmm? On your mode. Oh. Don't do it. Just a party of, everybody's a barbarian. Everybody has them. Um, I would recommend just magic missiles. Everyone has magic missiles. I will say, I think a character with magic missiles is mandatory now. It's fun. It's necessary for Auntie Ethel. Yeah. Oh, Carlex solo Auntie Ethel. <laughs> Not for us. She got off like four whole persons on, it, so she held all of us. Um, just keep. Um, don't go your entire party. Leave somebody behind at the entrance because she does. The speed jack doesn't activate until you're later on, and you're still hidden back there. Now she summons a ghost at the entrance, and it's like, oh, we're cornered because she can't summon one up there, and we're fully. If she summons it, so it surrounds you. So if you go into the cave, and that's it won't start, be there. It won't be in the entrance because mm -hmm. I kept um, Lazelle completely out of the fight, fight that way. Is uh, Lazelle battlemaster? Huh? Battlemaster? No, she's a wizard. Uh, I wish I can tell you about Act Three, Lazelle. Some fun stuff happened. Anyways, I won't know begin. Act Three, Lazelle. Me and Sonya killed her. <laughs> what? Do you mean Act Three, Lazelle? As in what happened Remember, with yeah, us? Castle. I think we told him about it. She kept missing? No. Anyway, we, we're gonna we're gonna say that three for that time. We're kind of Let's begin. Buck was experienced. Oh the uh, thing about the egg. No. Uh, so previously on Nexus, you guys were just informed that you all essentially have to separate <coughs> to find your equivalents where the cause have to find Whistler, Nacho and Zero are gonna go for James and the Orb. The ball. The ball. And Lux is having to investigate um, ducks. He'll be a man once again. No. What? He'll be a man once again. Okay. And we're essentially in the night before, or the day before, you guys all split up. You guys just left the town hall, or the city hall. Uh, what do you all want to do? I'm going to kind of shotgun this one. We're going to go right to left. Well, I have all my preparations. You're all completed then? Yes. I have my <clears throat> throwable needles that will heal people or hurt people, mm -hmm. depending on what I sink into them. Mm -hmm. I'm still messing around with my abilities to cast spells. Or not spells. What are science? Science. 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 And uh, we should have rations. Yes. If you are complete, then I will go on to Sakaza. Sakaza? Okay. Well, since she's going to be leaving town, she's going to tell Miko she's leaving and basically spend time with him just so that he's not. He knows. Yeah. She's okay. not upping. Cynthia already knows because Cynthia told her. But yeah. <laughs> Miko. Miko. Yeah, Miko. I wasn't sure if I was saying that right. Miko doesn't know. Mm -hmm. So she she tells him. You spend you spend your time with Miko, and Sorry. it's very sad. Sorry. That scared me. Sorry. I thought I was waking up. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, you spent some time with Miko, and it's and it very sad because he's worried, huh? And it was all a dream. Yeah. Um, but he has had he has had to know that you are gonna get Whistler. He was very fond of Whistler, even though he was um a unique character. Anything else? Mm, other than that, probably just make sure she has uh, everything. To go. That way she's not. Not behind. 
Yeah, not behind. She has stuff she needs, like food and stuff like that. Okay. Now, next is Lux. Is there anything you're going to do, Lux? Mm. Uh, I'm going to meditate to try to commune with the dragon again. Great. Roll for communion. All right. With wisdom. That was Arcana. No, it is Arcana. Yes. Natural 20. Natural 20. So you commune with... You go back into the realm, focusing on the little corner of yours. The last time you were in here, everything kind of got destroyed. And the dragon was gone. And once more, you're back here. Uh, instead of like a dark, gloomy mountain, it is just there on the cracked mountain. The throne of which the dragon just uh, laid on is destroyed and just a former in itself. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? I guess since this is both my soul and my realm, I guess, I'll just try to like fix it. His domain. His domain. Mm -hmm. How are you going to fix it? Well, just use kind of like the ice to like restore the throne. Because you're what? You use my ice power, like my ice, like Ray of Frost, like try to like, you know... Magic doesn't work in here, remember? Magic uh, doesn't? No. Hmm. Okay, so how does this realm work again, you know what I mean? It's... You don't know. You've done, you've been here once and you've managed to access some of its power, but even then you were unsure of how you did it. You know, I think if I was stuck in this place of loneliness, I'd be pretty mad too, of it, especially once I've been here before, if I've been stuck in here because of like a mistake somebody I trusted made. So, I am just going to just leave this out here in the world. I am going to not necessarily like, you know, take on all of the errors of my family, but I will do everything I can to like, correct all the wrongs that have been done but to not be so steep in like revenge or whatever it is it is that I won't lose myself to it but what are you doing are you just saying this out loud I am just saying this out loud hopefully maybe they hear it maybe they under try to under maybe the dragon hears me maybe they try to understand it I'm not asking you to forgive or forget but I am asking that if you can give me the chance to work together one day, and I will do, then I will work together with you. We will be equals. We will work together, and I will not do, I will not repeat the same mistakes of my ancestor. You feel a jarring weight go upon your shoulders. You don't see something, but you feel like you were picking up a stone. Roll me a wisdom save. <coughs> oh, 10. You are knocked to one knee, as though you are carrying a weight on, on your back, having to just lift up your hands to the side to pick, to pick up this corporeal uh, object. And on the throne it begins to form, instead of just the porch of which the dragon needs to lay on, it is now an actual stone throne. throne. And in front of there, 
coming from the side of the mountains is none other than the God of Humanity. The ones that you saw before, take on your dragon. He sits on the throne and looks at you. His features are hollow. His body is nothing but just a white, radiant figure, glowing, and his face is just a is just a black circle. It looks to be of a square, a crown of sorts on his head that doesn't even look like it's attached. It's just melded in with it. And he asks you, "You are still wishing to not bear any of the consequences of your family, any of the vengeance of someone else." And yet you still expect some redemption and heroics to come forth from it. I can see why the other believes in your trust. It's foolish. What are you hoping to gain? Making amends of sort? I'm sure if I'm to kill one of your allies, you wouldn't go on a vengeance path for revenge, would you? After all, you don't want to cause a spur. You don't want to continue it. There is nothing I can see that ignites that passion within you. You are a human, even corrupted by a dragon. But yet you lose that spark of passion. I don't see it within your eyes. Even your other friends, your monsters. When I saw back for the little goblin... When his child had run, I saw the anger, the rage, the loss. When even your humongous ally decided that they were about to lose somebody close to them, their sadness, but their emotion, even the other one who recently just ignited their spark to fight for someone else, even if it wasn't in combat. It was a fight for belief. But you, your passion, as a human I expected better, as someone from you, you don't want to delve into revenge. I understand that. You don't want to be barbaric, but yet you are choosing to be the better person for someone else. When all they're asking you is to avenge them. Now, what is your case? You're standing in front of the Lord, the God of humanity. Soon to be free. And I expected anyone to understand a case of vengeance it would be you, but you are passionless. You seek no war. You seek no fire. Even a pacifist understands the means to fight. What is your fight? What is your reason? Heroics, I think not. I've seen your battles countless times. If it was heroics, when your allies were falling, could you not count a spell for save all of them? If it was for vengeance... There are means to attend forward that you choose not to take forth. And it's for your own glory. You could have broken an oath of your own one love. But instead you decide to play the oblivious. Tell me, as one human to another, what is your spark? What is your fire? What is your passion? To be honest... I don't think I necessarily have a passion. Not any, not for a while. I think for a while I've only just had I've only just wanted to fight for what others believed in. I have only just I have been trying to understand what it is that makes them so willing to, you know, go for for everything. I might not necessarily be able to have dreams or passions of my own, but I don't, don't think that means that I am incapable of defending them. Defending what? A man who stands on nothing will fall for nothing. 
And I see, have you have fallen several times? And yet have I given up? What does it matter if you give up? What are you fighting for? Yes, you can constantly stand up, but if you're just constantly going back down for no reason, why? Perhaps I'm just simply fighting for a better tomorrow. What tomorrow are you making? You do not fight. <laughs> we as humanity as a race fight. This is the world I'm trying to bring forth. The passion. The fight. The honor. But are we all about passion? There are people who are content with living simple lives and not attaining anything Simple more. lives. They have understanding. They wish to go forth. They want to do something. All I am asking you, what do you fight for? They fight for the next day, even if it's such a minute task. A monster back in the days understood this. Maybe survival, maybe honor, maybe anything. You come to this realm seeking the retribution of another when all they ask for is to be avenged. You try to speak on the behalf of someone who does not want to be speak of. And now you're going to... What? Go forth, speak with this elven person, and decide on what is better? Two monsters, two means to an end. What is it? What does it mean to you? What is your passion? What is the better tomorrow? So you can stand aside, and the others will fight. There is no harm in that. After all, that is the better tomorrow. Let the others fight. I don't want to. I want to stand by, by, the, by their side. That's all I really ever wanted. But if you do know, not know what side to stand on, what's the point? You come to this realm seeking for reasons and answers, trying to gain the weight of the world, and yet right now you are on one knee beneath me, holding that weight, holding a partial of it. This realm, this domain's weight, I can carry with a single finger, for I carry the weight of humanity on my shoulders. And even this monster of a dragon you are own to, it has more fire than you. Now, I believe you are finished. Even if we are to kill each other in the battle coming forth. I see passion in all but you. Hmm. I see reason in all but you. Standing idly by and awaiting for the tribulation to come forth. Humanity does not stand for so. If you have any belief to slay me, you must grow that passion, grow that fire. What is it to live without reason? And he waves his hand. You feel the weight of your shoulders lighten. And you stand back up. And he just waves his other hand to cause a bright light behind you. The door is behind you. And as for your little dragon friend, pray not. I have no need to kill her at the moment. They will serve the purpose. Everyone has their own. Well, I should remark that. Not everyone. And he just grins at you. What do you do? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Can I roll an investigation to see if there's anything else I can do right here? Sure. Your animals roll with you, right? Mm -hmm. They take the same initiative as you. Mm -hmm. that's, an, that's a 17 plus 1 plus 4. 21. Hey, no. Plus. Uh, no, uh, plus 4. 21. 
and you're looking to do see what else you can do here? yeah like if there's like can i see like you know if the dragon is like in like a i don't know kind of like a cage somewhere or like if there's something about about this of the plane that is off about me than i the last time i've been here other than the it no longer be a dark and gloomy and just rather a kind of you're standing on essentially the mountain top <clears throat> with the clouds surrounding mm-hmm. and light bearing down on you nothing seems mm-hmm. nothing seems out of the order well a lot of things seem different but nothing seems like it's not meant to be there mm-hmm. this world has melded to one creature I guess the idea is so the best idea is to just leave now. Do you just walk out? You know, you probably you do have a point about this whole passion thing. I can't. I do not have an answer for you now, but by the next time I see you, I guarantee you, I'll have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> An answer, he says. The next time, he states. So the next time we are to see each other, if there is a next time, you will still be blinded by your own hubris to follow nothing. And when I am slain, or if I come out victorious, I will still laugh. Knowing the follower of nothing is there. Hmm. All right. And you walk out, snapping out of your concentration. You don't feel cold. You don't feel sweat. You feel strangely nothing next if you want to do any shopping please do tell Uh, I guess I should get some uh, Cheaper version of um uh, of a uh, resurrection revivify. Huh? Is Resur- is revivify the cheaper version of resurrection? Revivify is like they've been dead for a minute. You can revive them. Um, resurrection. Uh, yes, technically, if you're going by that, yes. Yeah. How much is revivify? About a hundred gold. I will get two, yeah, two scrolls of the five. All right. You, you go up to one, you go up to the AC's port, buy two scrolls of the five, that is 1,000 gold, or no, 200 gold. Spray. Yes. I told you what I was gonna get. Um, a question about the trophy system. Yeah. The only ones available in real life are for tanks and cost nine hundred thousand. Congratulations. <laughs> you said you have fifty million. Yeah. Does that mean I want to spend it? <laughs> so, so, what is your opinion on that? For well, me. I lied. The cheaper end ones are cheaper. <laughs> two two hundred and fifty thousand. Still for tanks. The, these, <laughs> we'll cut them in half. Well, we'll see, because these are meant for, you know, taking down missiles. <laughs> yes. We'll cut, we'll cut the price in half. We'll cut the price in half. How much making that? Um, let me see. If it's 900,000? 250,000. 
I'm going for cheapo. 125,000. Yes. And now, what would your opinion of an appropriate spell count? Mm -hmm. How many spells would you allow that to counter before it needs to? Ten. Ten spells. Random or my choice? However I guess you set it's the machine. Okay. It's like a little dial. It goes up to level four. Okay. I'm going to be poor after getting a lot of money. After getting a lot of money? You're going to be poor after getting a lot of money? Yeah. That's an interesting sentence. Technically, that's how money works. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take I that. also get poor when I when I get a lot of money. How <laughs> it brings you little along. And on top of that, the stuff that I've messaged you, mm -hmm. I will also be getting um, some potions. And a scroll of Vivify. Two of them. That's 200 gold. Well, they would be if I was in a car carrying member. Oh, you. <laughs> I forget, you as the cause are our platinum members. And Zelo now. Zelo. Oh, you signed up Zelo? Yeah. Oh, that will cost him extra. He's an gold. authorized user. He's an authorized <laughs> user. Yeah. <laughs> you sign him up, you go to the bank, sign him up for a plan. Yeah, I wonder. That cuts that by 20%. <laughs> Technically, it doesn't cost anything to add an authorized user. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, he's an authorized user. So, you know, I'm making money if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so with this... I almost chopped off my finger. I'm going to get four and four potions, by the way. Okay. Oh yeah, and 10 of every ammo. 10 of every ammo? Okay. Yeah. That is a hefty price. Yeah. I'm good. Tengo. No. Tengo. Tengo. Uh, no thank you. Tengo, yeah. It, it's a lot of money, but I'm still under. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said I've got a lot of money. Yeah. I'm gonna be poor. Do you... Is that already getting? Uh... What do you mean? I'm getting a lot of stuff. Yeah. Pepper spray, tasers, flares, a trophy system. Can I follow him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see Zero essentially swiping his card a lot, signing up contracts to firm the big purchases. I didn't um, even realize we were allowed to go shopping. Oh, yeah. This, do we just all want to go shopping then? Just want to go shopping? <laughs> okay, yeah. You guys just all essentially go there. I only go to local small businesses as well, by the way. Wow, I'm not supporting the big company. That's how you know he has big butts. He doesn't even care if he doesn't look down, but he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> the company doesn't even take out her car. You go to the outer businesses rather than the internal ones. Because it's not her. Yeah. I go only to the internal ones for like ammo because, you know, they, they're cheap on that. They're also cheap on trophies. You're also cheap on this stuff too. Hey, let's go back there. That's nice. Wait, I saw like a little one like um, slot in my armor. Or you can put like a spell on it. Mm -hmm. Can I put like vampiric touch on it? You just put a spell slot on there. Or oh, okay, it's not like the whole thing that she had with her with her thing or different thing. Hers is you have unique armor and stuff. You think about fits, right? Yeah. yeah. And you just see me carrying a bunch of random stuff. Yes. Uh, is there anything in budget for me? Do you want something? Yes, but I'm not sure to get to you. What do you want? A weapon. <laughs> what kind of weapon? Enchanted weapon. Yeah, um... Father-son conversation. <laughs> You're hovering over there. Between me yeah. and you, I'm very jealous of Sikosa. You're very what? Jealous of Sikosa's magic weapon. Magic weapon? Yes. What's wrong with this? What's it called? A gun. Oh my god. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's enchanted as well, so I can't really... <laughs> okay. But you know what her does, right? Huh? You know what her It comes does. back? Yeah. Do you want that? Yes, I don't remember if we could buy it here or. Oh, and I have Ward now. Hmm? I have Ward. Right? She got yeah, it as a special ward. gift, right? Is uh, that what how it works with like um? Uh, but like I can do like on like weapons, it. right? Uh, you can do glories or glyphs on weapons. It's just a matter of is it a damaging spell or offensive spell or uh, defensive spell. Uh, I'm doing that. Whole, I was thinking about doing the. Yeah. I, I, I was yeah. thinking about doing like, the whole no like problem. um. Uh, what was that one spell in the end? Uh, <laughs> uh, sword of the spirits. This is like I can't. I was gonna, I think about me if I could like put I could like ward his his one of his like weapons with sort of the spirit, which would basically make it like into like a 
Either do either we're doing necrotic or um uh, hold, or like uh, uh, holy damage. Is he good with us? Or is he just talking? No, he's there with you. Yeah. <laughs> you have to buy roof fire after his little uh, powwow. Oh, you mean this? I still have the word you gave. <laughs> I'm in mean the room. Free weapon. Oh, yeah. I've been collecting the things you gave me. I just haven't used them yet. <laughs> have you used the stuff I've given you? The tough scope, yes. I'm not sure. Does if that have you to be and I board it together, will it be like... Will, will you it can't do a word a single object. No, I mean, like, let's say if we, like, you know, just, like... Yes. No, I'm talking about My idea would be basically just, you know, if, like, us, like, wearing the same room together, we just, like, um, uh, increases the efficiency. Is that, would that, like, a possible something like that? Or make it, or maybe have it like, take less time to, like, you know, make it, like, you know, make it, like, make the ward. Too many cooks in the kitchen, essentially. Fair enough. I guess I could just, like, said. I guess I could just ward it right now if I, if that's, if, if I, the DM will let me do that. Yeah, I'm sure can. Alright, I will ward your weapon, whatever weapon roll you your, want. Roll me the check. So that's our comp, alright, so... Um, I think it was something, an enchantment or something, that she got put on her axe. But I feel like she got it somewhere special. She, she did. got at the bazaar. She got a tattoo. Yeah, um, she got a tattoo. Remember when that girl blew up? Your accent. Yeah. Oh, that's It's why. on her hand. That yeah, it probably won't accent. be fun to get here then. Mm, maybe. We can always look in the magic you area. Just say, you can't go to a... You can't go to uh, uh, the pool guy and just go like, <coughs> I can't find it here. It's yeah. the pool guy. You're not going to find it in this section, actually. <laughs> you, you know, um, <laughs> like guns, guns. What level spell is this? I believe it is a... Hold on, let me find it real quick. And um, you said Sword of the Spirit? First level. Hmm? First level. First level Sword of the Spirit. And what is the command you're trying to do it? Fancy backpack. Uh, command? Yeah. And yes, it does need to be recharged. Uh, I need to look at it real quick. If you would. <laughs> Like, what's like the command? It's basically a ward. So no, no, no. You break it. Because uh, words and glyphs go with command, I can fix, I can and each command has two DCs. Because essentially, if you give him the sword, you if you can just tell the sword, on hit, Tactical prop, knife. on hit, work. Or you can say, uh, on hit, or voice activator, or something stuff like that. But you have to be I can give it like code. Oh, okay, yeah. well... I was thinking if he just does it like th- if it's like a, if it's like one of his daggers if he does it like this. So when prompted. When like prompted like doing it like this when prompted, it will activate either he can choose to either do divine or like uh or like uh undead damage. So that's ten plus. Um, little suggestion when you're making, um, prompted type things. Yes. Keep in mind that you won't always have access to two heads. That's fair. Well, okay, that's a good point. Well, I was gonna say maybe just maybe just a flick. Like, if I happen to be tied up and like able to reach your knife. Like, all right, maybe just like a. <laughs> just use my ooh, finger. <laughs> ooh, what about like a, or like a, or like a double tap of the, of, on the handle. That works. A double, yeah, a double finger tap on the handle. That's one. Macho's nervous two, tick. <laughs> just a four two, you see. Yeah, like you just have a twitch. <laughs> Guidance or bless, Daniel. I'll okay. cast guidance. That's a one d four. I mean, they're both one d four. Yeah. Um, regarding Nacho, um, it's okay. They invented something really cool called goose Eight tape plus here. Plus four, twelve. It's, a, <laughs> it's really strong stuff. Yeah, wait up, wait up. It's amazing for repairs. Okay. What's in our camera? Put the gun on. Plus one, but I'm refreshing it, so that's like a plus. That'd be plus, uh, plus four. Five. Yeah, four. Plus four. Yeah, We're plus currently plus three proficiencies. He is level nine. So you're at twelve oh, right now. Wait, so he's a, oh, he's sorry. one level ahead of us because he took a level in Warlock. So Does level nine get plus four? I'll look it up real quick. Uh, let me just roll for the other thing because that should be enough to. So ten, and then you make it or break it depending on, um, what the bonus is. Actually, no. At minimum, you get a plus four and a fourteen meets right. 14, yes, 14 meets, but these are have to go above. At level 9, it is 4. Okay, so yeah, because of the bonus, you have a plus 5. <sighs> yeah, yeah, so, so it's, it passes. It passes. Yep. Yes. So it does work. You manage to glyph his dagger. Um, so you're going to go looking around for a tattoo artist? Probably. Okay. Magic. The Roman only perception. thing. Magic, good point. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> Magic. I got a really cool tattoo. Uh, Doesn't do shit. <laughs> Yeah, give me a second. So like, to you. Oh, oh, yes. oh it's, I paid this all this money. I washed my hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you didn't know it was henna. It was henna. Magical henna. Well, Emmanuel, what would goose tape do? The fuck's goose tape? 
Get it. Yeah. Even I got it. Wait, what? Okay, okay. So, all right, Miguel, just so you know again, I will work. It lasts for a minute. All right, so the. So the so the sword spear lasts for a minute. You can either have the sword do necrotic, psychic, or radiant damage when you cast this, your weapon. Do that, and also whenever you do it, kind of just like if I'm being honest, it's gonna make the dagger go to like a specific like weapon shape too, whatever you want it to be. Or like so, yeah. Kind of turn into the a sword is chosen the kind of weapon that deals a chosen type of damage instead of the usual damage. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Gun. Oh, and when you cast this at a wait no, actually you can't really cast at a higher level because you don't spell slots. No. I have sale next slots. Yeah. No so sound? you can't upcast yes. words and glaives. Um but so I roll, right? Yeah, roll with perception. Um wait, that's tilted, man. Are we gonna get tilted at the towers? One better. <laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> 17 plus... At least it's better. Oh, that plus 10. No, that's... I got a 7 on the die. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, um... Sorry, hey, fun. son, you got this. I believe in you. Use them cheapers of yours. <laughs> what do you do? Guys. <laughs> Is that one the spell you decided to keep? Yes. Well, I'm still a cleric. Oh. I'm a cleric. Can we no... double guidance? <laughs> I am no longer a cleric at night. <laughs> <laughs> at night? At night, I stop being a cleric. Hey, four. So, so does that 21. just mean you can do whatever okay, you want uh, at night? Now you are able to find out. Oh, yeah. no, I'm a dumb idea if you're going to let me do this. I can no longer cast Is people. there a therapist anywhere on this port? Romy perception. I think I'm, no. a, I'm a licensed therapist. No. <laughs> um, I might be. No. Um... You have to find one a arcane two, a tattoo artist in the outer space. Nine. Sports. You walk about the shore, uh, walking with Zero and Takaza following behind. And you see, and also Zelo. Zelo is here. Yes. He's staying quiet, either because he's watching Zero do monumentous purchases. And part, you can hear, with that, with that 21, you can hear it whisper, says like, Oh wait, am I still in a guidance or just a one time? Hired <laughs> am I still in guidance or is that just a one time? <laughs> it's, it's for a minute. It no, it's having for flashbacks to. I switched it over to him. Oh yeah, I switched it over to him. Oh dang it. Oh, having, yeah. flashbacks. having flashbacks to us uh, running a diner when you were This whole time he was struggling, he could have just bought people. <laughs> Well, the thing is, he said he would hire workers. You never offered. No, when you hired us to watch oh, the. Is that what he meant? <laughs> That's what I meant. Oh, I thought he meant like in general. I'm like, he, I, I don't have the permission to do it, and um, I just came into this money this morning. <laughs> um, it might be gone tomorrow. <laughs> it probably is. Gone. <laughs> With that, uh, you ever find one of the tattoo artists? You open up the glass door. You hear a bell ring above you. Uh, <laughs> There's like someone already walking out and have a bandage over their uh, hands. Can I do a quick medicine check? Sure. You see that it is a fur bulk with like a gruff look of beard that's knotted up and a leather jacket or a sleeveless leather jacket over him. I believe in myself. It's nasty. 24. 24. Is it properly bandaged? Yes. Okay. okay, so they at least know how to... Bandage. I'm not going to get an infection here, I hope. Um, you see on the wall, there's like several, uh, there's several pieces of parchment, uh, showing drawings like skulls or, uh, weapons or, <laughs> or other animals, such like that. In the center, <laughs> there's a spinning chair, a metallic spinning chair with leather seats. He's sitting on his own with a little, uh, pedestal holding his other stuff. And he sees you and says like, Oi, what you want? I'm wondering if you have a very specific tattoo here. That can't do mine. No. Before this begins, he has my permission as a guardian. I consent to him getting this tattoo. No, 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 that's not how it works here. <laughs> and you see him like turn around, you hear a... <laughs> he spits, and it hits a bucket. Good shot. He pulls out a nice shot. booklet. You got a sign here, he's underage. <laughs> I am legally bind by this. Okay, I'm 72. Uh, oh, that's not what he said. <laughs> Guardian, we're gonna take ownership. Yeah, right, right. He's just messing. Uh, he's just messing around. That's what we do. It's our too local. late. In cat years. <laughs> you already walked in. So I'm paperwork. Uh, so we can leave. Fine, bind it. 
Okay. Can I have Zelo give me the help action as we both look and try to read this legalese? Sure. She just kind of looks at Natchez. This is a different process than what it was for my um, hand. 13. At the very bottom, you sign away all rights to this book. Are you sure you want mine? Because I feel like that's how it's going to go. Three. What, what, what's what's yours in Axe or what was 13 plus oh, 3? Oh, frick. Now I got to look it up. 16. 16. No, uh, I think essentially, you can leave binding him is that any infections caused by a tattoo is not by him. Any injuries uh, caused by the user of using a certain magical feature of the tattoo is not liable to him. Inspired. Any damages that they refrain outside oh, the shop. Yeah. yeah. So you choose the tattoo. As of when the tattoo is finished. All I did was buy the magic feature. And since your guardian, you have to sign off the like over 100 pieces of paper. Okay. Um. By the way, uh, if you if they cut your arm off, they're not they don't have to replace it. <laughs> I you think the feather on that. Okay. I have to grow new one. Uh, oh crap! Wait, what? Uh, Are you part lizard? I'm sorry, son, but your parent and guardian here have to sign it. All right. This is over a hundred pieces of paper of legal binding agreement. Wow, that's a lot. Please, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just signed it. You missed one over here. I don't think you did. Sorry. So you know what I here, find funny? You want to know what's funny here. about this? He's asking me for this and to buy it when he's like a millionaire himself. <laughs> I'm not the millionaire. You have over a million in your own personal coffers. No, it was like 10000 <laughs> oh my bad, <laughs> Mr. Moneybags. <laughs> um. So essentially, my friend got the tattoo that makes it so her weapon returns to her every time she throws it. That is very useful, especially when you keep losing your weapon. Mm. You got, you got reframe, you got return one, don't you, lad? I don't know if it's, it's not a lad. That's a lass. Go for me. Do I need to show you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, she That's my daughter you're it. talking to. Oh, when you need to When did I get adopted? I don't know. <laughs> you never said I was your daughter. <gasps> okay, if you adopt her, that tendency makes like a uh, uh, issue that, Wait, that tendency <laughs> makes sense like your granddaughter. My. Yeah, so you're my stepson. Oh, wait, you're right. <laughs> what the fuck? That's my stepson. He married into the family. Muscle. I feel like Sakasa just stopped with her shirt like right no, here. Stop that. Wait, did you say muscle top? Like, he doesn't believe yeah. I'm a woman. That's a woman. Do I not show these? Do I show this instead? No. Don't show anything. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not actually adopting. You just don't expose yourself for free. Okay. I'll, I'll call you last if you want me to call you last. Well, I don't care what you call me. As long as you call her. Oh. Okay, lad. Now. You got returned one. Would you throw and just come back to you? Mm hmm. Or oh, you get returned too. Here, throw and it pops back into your hand. Or whatever you want it to be. Oh, so whether you don't it be gotta your wait. butt cheeks or your armpits. Wait, what? You can have Why would you want your butt cheeks? You never know. An exciting night. Oh, yes. Why do you tattoo different objects and items? So, return one, it comes <laughs> flying back towards your hand. Sorry. Yep. Or return two, it just magically appears there. Yep. Yes, sir. I think Magic the Appearing would be better. No, but hold on, think about it. If it, re- if it returned one, the... if it's like a blade or something, or like an axe, then you could just like attack the enemies that are in the way of it. But they might get stuck in the enemy. But you could always still call it back. You can always still call it back in a That's bit. happened to Sakaza once. She just ripped it off once the person came to her. As you. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll have to get like surgically remove it. <laughs> so... <laughs> I still think we turn Scapel. one. Scalpel. Scalpel. Flyers. <laughs> I still think like Return 1 is better. In theory, yes, but also... What works for Do you want to be better. poisoned? You know, I never thought of that. You I'm gonna throw magical people. poison things at you. <clears throat> and then once it comes flying back, it nick you. Because you happen to be in the way of the weapon. Are you, what if you don't right? catch it correctly? Like, <laughs> <laughs> for my safety, I think just appearing in my hand is better. Also, maybe there's Fair. a swordsman that has four swords, like... One in each hand, one is not, then one is his butt cheeks. Oh, god damn it. No, what was the, the location of that too? Can well, it be you want it hand? to appear here. Oh, my hand perfectly. I can put it like in your eyeball if you wanted to. I don't see how that's going to be beneficial. 
I can take out your eye. I like my eye. <laughs> Just a random question, purely because I'm curious. Have you ever had to tattoo someone's genitalia? Yeah. Oh, I bet you that was awkward. Was it a magical tattoo? In the in the line of business, you can just see many things. <laughs> Oh okay, so the skulls in this end, I want the, the tattoo on this one. Mm -hmm. No more room for Wait, brands. let me see your other hand. I did a shite job at that tattoo. To be fair, it's a brand. Oh. Are you in debt? No. Okay. I was about to say, debt, get out of here. It just shows my affiliation to a cult. Yes. Mm. Which one are you part of? Are we allowed to say? No, we're not allowed to say. I'm not allowed to say. He's <laughs> my, in my cult. <laughs> the cult of dad. You want to be part of the cult? We no, just we you. just love him a lot. Now, I'll be your dad. I'll buy you stuff. He'll be your daddy. He spits in the bucket. I'll be fine. <laughs> now, sit your arse in the chair. Okay. This will be about 100 gold. Deal. You lose 100 gold. Mm -mm. Is this by card or cash? Mm. It's 80 it. gold. Uh, your swipe doesn't work. Yes, it does. <laughs> so it doesn't work. Oh, let me call the bank real quick. Do you have another card? Zelo, give me your card. Let's see. Um, okay. He hands you the card. He swipes it. Okay, the swipe works, sir. He gives you both the cards back. Why doesn't my card work? Sir, I'm a tattoo artist, not a banker. Maybe you used it too much times. The magnetic strip you, your, your, your card's a little tight. Yeah, doesn't it tell you how much you have in your account? It does. Yeah, I have more than enough. Because the most expensive purchase is one hundred twenty-five thousand. <laughs> it just calmly says it. I feel that's how much my building costs. <laughs> no more. He could have funded the whole city. Which, if I'm being honest, do you want to know how much goals the trophy system cost me? Hmm. If I did the math right, a thousand gold, which is still a lot, but... It's only a little... It's a small dent in your coffers. Yes. So, and that's the most expensive thing, so I know I have money. <clears throat> like a teaspoon of salt out of a cup Now, he uh, says... That's my uh, teaspoon of salt. Would you like salt. some anesthesia? Uh, no, no, it's okay. You don't want to see how he does his anesthesia and gets some inspiration? Won't he be asleep? Well, how would he see it? Do you mean local asleep? anesthesia or like topical anesthesia? Homemade. Or... <laughs> <laughs> see, that, that's even Like gin? <laughs> no. You think we have that kind of money here? I mean... You know how much magical ink costs? I give you vials of Albert. Feather tea gives you resistance on everything. No, no, no. He pulls out like a little, uh, a little red ball. Oh. This is to prevent the screaming. Oh. So ball gag. I slapped my legs. <laughs> <laughs> you see his legs? No anesthesia. <laughs> no anesthesia. Ah, you should have just said no anesthesia then. Kind of like. I thought it was like maybe you could get inspiration. <laughs> But, but just, you can keep the um, this thing. It makes it so they don't feel the pain. Mm, I appreciate that. That's what the little kids come in. I thought he would just chug it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you could chug it too. Yeah, thank you. So I won't do that right now. There's no alcohol in it. I. I, like I, tea. I prefer to say that for later, regardless. <laughs> now, put your ass down. I'm done. And he gets like a little ink or a little quill a metallic quill and for like the next hour he starts more well it's been two an hour because he's been signing off paperwork the next hour just kind of <laughs> constantly marking Wait, what color do you want it uh purple Ooh, you get a color choice <sighs> that's my sound right there he starts marking it Good and colors. it's from a constitution check say dc is fine can I use silver <laughs> Natural <laughs> open. Uh, he goes I use my luck. <laughs> I use my luck. Oh, use your luck. <laughs> you foresee what will happen. Oh, <laughs> what the oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. The world is telling you, you scream. And he goes, like, okay, if he touches there, I pass out. 
Don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> you learn your weak spot, your Achilles heel. He started on he, my palm. Not just palm. He screams for like a, ten seconds, then he knocks out. And it's like that's what the gag is for. <laughs> no one ever takes the home main anesthesia now, and you see why. And that's. Gets naked. his legs cut off. Okay. A little, a little tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that makes sense. New weakness, Valmore Notch. <laughs> is uh, it tattoos or is it just his palms? After an hour. Zero writes that down. <laughs> weakness, tattoos, question mark, palms. Question he slaps your face and you wake up. What am I? He's already bandaged up your hand. You give it about a day, it'll heal. And then you'll be good to go. <laughs> no. What? Don't scratch it. No, I put potion on it. Well, that also worked. Do you want more potions? No, I'm fine. Hey, hey <laughs> can I see? Can I see a tattoo real quick? Okay. And I push down. On <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to. <laughs> I want to see. Is it Soft the spot. palm or is it the tattoo that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> that was the same. one of them's a natural twenty. <laughs> Sorry, oh. the rule. The team Betty. He keeps at twenty though. Yeah. But both two fours. So a four and twenty. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you do not go unconscious. I don't like this. <laughs> is this so? What's the weakness? Can I roll animal handling? <laughs> Big pressure point. <laughs> keeps pressing all over sure. his palm. Sure, animal handling. And then I get advantage because you're a favored foe. <laughs> That's a nineteen. <laughs> That's a 19. <laughs> it's very close to a nerve. Okay. I, I write that down. I have to get that fixed. No, no, it's okay. Knife. <laughs> no! <laughs> Remove you nerve. Pass out when you're doing Weakness that. Weakness gone. Um, now. I can't move that finger anymore. <laughs> you guys step out. Wait, wasn't I supposed to get two of these? The one on the um, weapon? One on the weapon. Yeah. Did you want a magical weapon as well or just one of your regular ones? No, like, her horse and a pair. You, this is a empty one. You just got a symbol. You have to choose what weapon you're buying to. Essentially, what is going to happen next is that as soon as you remove that bandage and put something on there, that's what it's going to bind to. Oh, that's you. What do you mean? Imagine if Zero just, just touched it and that's <laughs> He touched it through the bandage. Yeah. He could just poof. We, you can send the bandage. Bathroom. Zero, <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> Sadly, must be inanimate. Oh, it's horrible if he accidentally did it. You were mid sexy time. <laughs> oh, God. Stop the sensation. Anyway. <laughs> so, so, you need me? Um, so, uh, what, what do you want to do? My. Weapon that's going to be enchanted with this is going to be the serrated dagger. I will need. I'm going to close this and serrated dagger. So you're going to open up your bandage after throwing the healing potion. And do you put your hand on serrated dagger? I, one hand grabs dagger, then I press the handle of the dagger to my hand by holding the blade. Okay. <laughs> uh, Roman constitution check. Because <laughs> uh, it's going to be like a vacuum. Oh, nice. Hey, 23, and then con is plus 2. Wait, you rolled a 23? Hold on. So 25. Okay, wait, you rolled a 25? Yeah, total. Oh. I was just rolling really shitty. Yeah. Um, you, you, <laughs> absorb, you see the dagger kind of bend and block, like force into your hand, and it just kind of sees. What's the symbol tattoo? He didn't ask me. <laughs> no, you pointed and then you... Pretty sure I have a fire now, because that's yeah, whatever she had. Yeah, you have a fire. Yeah. And inside that fire, you see like a little dagger. I'll huddle that dagger a bit. <laughs> nice. It's funny if it was something he just pointed so, out. So, on command... Look, sketch. Oh, ah! <laughs> Throw me side of hand. Yeah. Let's see if you actually did catch it or not. 16 plus... Throw me attack roll. Plus 2, uh, 18. <laughs> My serrated dagger has a plus ten to my attack roll. Oh. Is that the same way? Is that the same one? Wait, oh, is that the same way I enchanted? No, no you inserted my short sword. Oh, what was the roll? Um, that's a five plus ten, fifteen. You were able to catch it. 
Okay, now, Torch is willing to come back, or? Do you want him to come back? Return. He just pops back in your hand. Nice. This can be so useful. You don't have to lose it anymore. Imagine if you could do that with, like, an arrow. You have infinite arrow until it breaks. Adamantine arrow. Technically, I could have done this with a needle. Bless you. Thank you. What about a bullet? The bullet's already been discharged. You get a hot casing. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe a cannonball. (laughs) (coughs) Sakazo would be the one who had to do it, though. She just throws a cannon. (laughs) What do you guys want to do now? Well, that's the only thing I had in plan. Maybe buy more potions. I bought all this stuff. Yeah, I need to buy potions. Just simple health potions? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll just go through this. Once we'll call it 50 silver each. Well, no. One gold each. Those are expensive. 80 silver each. 200 silver. Alright. So can I go find a therapist? Sure. Roll your perception check. Uh, Daniel. Hmm? I you in your room? Yeah. Where's the charger at? I don't have a charger. Uh, need your phone charger? Oh, my phone charger? For yeah. Right USB-C. Now. Huh? USB-C. Yep. Okay, I'm going to spend seven gold for seven potions. Twenty-five. Oh my god, am I the only <laughs> D&D character who's ever going to go to actual good therapy, probably? In this campaign, yes. Yes. Okay, fair enough. In general, no. Uh, Daniel, can I get blessed or, like, uh, guidance? It's currently still on Nacho. Um, if you are in the area, sure. Yeah, it's sure it's just y'all, and I'm like, yeah, sure, go for it. Believe in you, all right? Perception. Wait, I thought you rolled perception earlier. You rolled a nine and something. Yeah, what was your nine plus what? Nine plus perception? Yes. Wasn't that for the warding? No, 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 no. You're, right, you're right, you're right. No, he passed the warding and everything. No, okay, okay. It was nine plus um, a perception. Not just plus playing with his knife. Throwing at the ceiling, on your back. Uh, <laughs> plus... A food fidget toy. It didn't tell me the range on this. It's normal dagger range. I throw it 60 feet. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Are you talking about the range of the dagger that's been altered? Or? No, return. You have to be in the same place. Plane. Same plane. Okay, just, okay, you know, it's just a nine. Then, uh, you are Testing not going to find it there. I throw it, and yeah, then well, again, once in the it, air, disadvantage. I cast, um, what's it called? But I have guidance, right. Shooting an additional 90 feet. All right. But I have guidance, right? I have, like, a blessing. Yeah, right. okay, okay, okay. Hey, you know what? And then return. So do I roll just for the... For, so for I weapon, roll both we turn me buddies. Yeah. Right. Okay. We need to come up with a better name than that. Uh, that's, uh... <laughs> wait, no, wait. Eight, no, that's a seven plus ten. Great. So you let me know. The rebound friends. The rebound friends? Nine. What the fudge? <laughs> you were able to find a therapist. My god. But you like do it. find a homeless person. That's pretty much it. There is no. You, uh, That's a good deal. You want the food, man? Rules. Or women? Or... Look at, they look up at you. Give me gold. I give them like 10 gold. I need a thousand. I don't have a thousand gold, I'm sorry. Yeah, throw the gold back at you. You could have kept the go- 10 gold. Mm-hmm, you could have used it. That's mumbling. <sighs> Fine. Gonna walk away and just like think to myself with my of my thoughts. Uh, do you guys end the day? Uh, no. You know I have oh, to do. I my... need. Yeah. To buy rations. <sighs> yeah. You know what? I can't believe I'm doing this. How much are rations? I I'm probably gonna just go talk to him. Uh, I'm going to talk to my good friend Zero about some advice. How much are rations? They are simple, uh, 20 copper. If you want advice, I think Zilla might be a good person to talk to as well. No, there's, there's a hundred copper in my I, I must return back to the no, shop. No, 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 it was his date day. <laughs> no, yeah. you did not disclose it. <clears throat> you can't, come on. So five silver, um, one silver, Who's four five Who's someone else like, who, 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 like, can you give, give me a perspective silver, of my whole, my whole situation? I'll give you perspective, because he has to go back to work. He bows and waves you guys goodbye. Did you get anything to eat? He says, it's in the bag. He had a, he had a bag of holding, remember? Yes. Okay. I, bought from, I paid 42 silver. So 42 times 5 is... I'm not good at math. Anyway, you two. 
220. I guess it's always just like, probably just go sit down somewhere, like we're going to get a bench or somewhere around town. Sure, in the outer skirts, we need to. Zero, do you think I am just dispassionate <clears throat> than most people? Like what do you 20 mean? rations for well, silver. Well, to be honest, I've kind of just been, rich. I've kind of been to myself, have I really just been going with the flow for of silver. everything around me? I like, I have I really just not been doing anything, like, you know, okay. remotely single of, like, passion to, like, get what it is I want? We've had passions, but you don't stick with them. Like, what do you mean? Uh, swords, gun sword. <clears throat> Those are the things. You wanted a dragon earlier, and you seemed like you really wanted a dragon, a pet dragon, and then kind of just stopped looking into that. Yeah, okay, to be fair, I was kind of just more or less just going around with what everyone else was doing. Hmm. But, you know, now that I think about it, I really, really want to help fix this world and make it, like, a better place so that way, you know, there's not, like, somewhat, like, needless, like, conflict and all these stupid, crazy, like, you know, oh, like, sec uh, you know, uh, like, <laughs> discrimination or, like, you know, hate between, like, other people. I mean, granted, I know that's a fool's errand still, but I still want to do all I can, at least with the people around me. But now I'm starting to think that I'm just being, like, too, like, too cautious, too, like, overthinking everything, and I just need to start doing stuff. Like, I need to start just actually putting my actions to be committed to something. And I want to commit to just, you know, stopping those, stopping, like, uh, Sill, stopping those heroes, and stopping the god of humanity. But how can I do that if I'm not passionate enough to, like, actually go and do the things I want to do? So, <clears throat> I think that you have just been going with the flow as of late. Because um, you weren't looking for ducks. You weren't doing a lot of stuff. I think if you want to find that, you need to focus on one task and see that task through to the end. Instead of being willy-nilly and <clears throat> going from task to task or person to person. Well, to be fair, we've had to do like a lot of other stuff besides, you know, saving ducks and, you know, and, and all, just everyone else. I mean, it's like, it's not necessarily like it's been like a straightforward path. There's always things we have to like take steps back for to like, you know, get to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying you're not wrong. I wasn't, in, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to like, I was kind of like not necessarily actively looking for ducks, but I just thought that the, the best way to do that, which is just, you know, get stronger and to, and to prepare for that to happen. But yeah, I guess you're right. I am just being just too passive. I... What's something you want to do? I want to... Not just looking for his balls. Um... Looking for my kids. Sakazla, so she has a whole bunch of stuff she's trying to do. She's trying to get Whistler. She's trying to get back. I guess, I don't know, is it her dad that she views? Hamburg. Hamburg, yeah. yes. Yes. Yeah. I want. I want to try to change my own fate. Whatever it is, I want to make. I want to see that you know I can like change whatever it is that I want. Well, I want to prove that I am not just you know some kid who just got got really lucky or really unlucky with magical powers. I want to prove that I can actually do something and be of help to other people and to the world around me. Maybe that's a little too vague right now, but it's the best answer I can come up with myself. Mm -hmm. because yeah. if I'm being honest what I really just want to do is take out that God's humanity and besides you know fixing this whole situation with this dragon problem with my family another thing you have to consider is um, you can't be idealistic all the time you have to be realistic if you're going to try and be good for everybody you have to accept the consequences that come with that you're right I know you don't want your family to pay, but I didn't want James to be taken away. I didn't want Poncho to be taken away. Those are the consequences of the path that I'm traveling now. And I'm doing my best to get them back. Maybe you can do the best to get your family back. 
or show the dragon that they were wrong. Okay. But you have to give up something for something else. Okay. And you just hear on the... <clears throat> you guys little headphones, or little thing. So this says, very heartwarming. Now, get some rest. Tomorrow you're all splitting up. Wait, I still have to talk to Yagra. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? Because you're telling me to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, it's late. No. Did you just not on me? Yeah. So, Kozla, can you say <clears throat> not on a zero in front of him? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, let's just go go to sleep. Got a long day tomorrow. Alright. All of you go back at buying supplies, equipment, and items from AC's court. You head back home. I head to church. <clears throat> head to your church. I head to church. What do you do at church? Everyone else is going to be resting. You're going to reheal everything? Mm hmm. I just sit down and pew. <laughs> Lip pew pew. Lip pew pew. And I just think to myself. Because after talking to Lux, I'm like, fuck, I'm a hypocrite. I can't do this either. I can't be everywhere and try to fix everything. So then I commune with Yagrath. Okay, wait. You, where's the bodies at? <clears throat> I pull out a rancid body. Do you have a body inventory? He's given me like eight bodies. How many did times? Did you ask him permission for bodies? Can I have a body? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> you get, you just walk, wake up, or like you're like kind of finish up some research. You walk out of your office, like the five minute walk to the church. You you knock on the door. You open the door. Just hand him a body from the bag. So this is a weird drug deal. <laughs> Right. Another another rumor starting about Nexus. <laughs> you walk up to the pew, commit the ceremony, and you uh, you speak with Yagraf. You're in your Yagraf's domain. Her domain. <laughs> Essentially. Um, what do you do there? She's staying with the, hunt, the thousand eyes. You look better. She speaks and says, Thank you, my child. Now, how may I assist you? Um, I was thinking about it, and you're right. I can't focus on the church and what I want to do. I still want this power. It's very useful. It's very addictive. It makes me feel... Like, I can do stuff, but <clears throat> I can't be at the head of your church for the moment, for the time being. I understand. And with this, do you mean to go through with the transformation? Yes. She pulls out a kind of one of her many arms. You know it's not an arm, it's one of the insect things. Tentacle. Not, Not tentacle. tentacle. Uh, leg. Leg. EDF style. Yeah. Puts it on your head. Uh, you wrap yourself in a co cocoon back in the church. Everyone looks confused. You don't see that. But essentially what's happening here is that you are being reborn. Do I get butterfly wings now? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, please don't give me butterfly wings actually, please. No, 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 that would be funny. That would be funny. I you, just realized what the butterfly yeah. wings are. You, no, you know what? Here. Like you matra. You, matra wings. No. You sleep. I sleep. And you wake up in that room with 13 doors. <clears throat> the one behind you being the 13th that's all scratched up. Mm -hmm. You feel that the doors looks less static it looks like it's more solid it's becoming its own mm -hmm. uh, the handle itself doesn't look like it's fuzzy or it feels fuzzy if you touch it 
and you feel like a small um, growth coming from your back. Why? It's not in your normal form, but in your tear form. In your reborn, you gain the wings of Yagara. Means nothing now. But if you ever ascend, you have wings. I do know you ever have had wings. Butterfly wings. She's every insect. Or is it like little fly wings? No, butterfly <laughs> wings. wings. I didn't know that either. Moth Dragon wings. Flies. Huh? Dragon fly wings. Moths have pretty wings. Moths, yes. You have moth wings. <gasps> You're going to be so soft. But no, he doesn't have them here no. as normal form. Either way. <laughs> I mean, she would be able to tell though. Yeah. But I think she'd be the only one to be able to tell. So... Make sure to write that down. Moth wings. Congratulations. Thank you. No, why would you do this, Emmanuel? You wanted it. Daryl has a ball that's a moth, Daryl. Uh, now. Hey, so I have horns. Are those supposed to be my antenna? No. Am I just transforming into bug? No. Yes. You're part bug, part whatever the ever it is. Anyways. The next day happens, you you are unwrapped by your followers from your rat ca- cocoon. They understand what process it is, and now, well, overnight, they study and commune with the Agraf herself. They open the doors for you at the front, and they understand what is what you are doing. I just feel like, I'll be back, don't worry. They bow before you. <laughs> this is just a momentary <laughs> leave of absence. You go to uh, sabbatical. The sabbatical. Nacho, you kind of wrap up another research paper or another like experiment. Okay, get this. We permanently make it so that men are unable to impregnate other people. The procedure: we just snip something, and it's gone. Oh my fucking god! Uh, Everything still works as planned, but no more babies. You're saying this in front of a mirror because everyone in the office has left. The door opens <laughs> and. Did you not uh, sleep? He sleeps. Somehow. Talking to my reflection. He sleeps. <laughs> he sleep bro. He uh, you sleep practicing broke your pitch? You, the door opens and out, uh, in steps Creep. And she says, with the cup, two cups of coffee, she hands you one. And she says. Thank you. Are you practicing on one of your pitches? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> she turns around. <laughs> oh, no, I turn around you. <laughs> um, she says, um... No contraceptive idea, except instead of them buying single-use contraceptives that we've been selling, it's more of a permanent procedure. That, well, not permanent. It could be undone with an eternal amount of time. But until it's undone, they are unable to produce offspring. Everything else works the same. All it requires is that we snip two... Boom, Two wires. Perhaps it's something we can study more and make it a procedure room in the hospital. However, before we can go forth, you are being, uh, I was informed from getting coffee, uh, that Cynthia wants to speak with you in the center, actually. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. I just imagine that be one of his procedures that he took. He's like, all right, who wants a vasectomy before the battle? Uh, you know, uh, so Kazala, Give everybody just an advantage. You wake up. <laughs> Wait, no, advantage against being charmed. This is better than everything else. Um, so Kazala, you, um. With would speed his hat. You awaken from, uh. <laughs> you awaken in your bed next to Miko's. Mm, next to you, I thought it was cuddling in the Miko. Um, he decided to. Is he growing he, older? He, you know, he came home late. What's he doing? He hangs out with people. Does he have a girlfriend? No, he goes to the library. Figured. <laughs> um, and he like. He kind of yawns the lake, stretches, you do the same. He says. Um, I, I wouldn't get bullied if I don't tell you this. Uh, Cynthia says she needs you in the town. Right before I came home, she she reminded me to, uh... Nicely, to, or you know, to how what'd she do? She told me she'll cast disintegrate in my face if I don't tell you in the morning. Good girl. So, um, she wants you to go meet her in the town center, or okay. city center. I guess that means it's almost time for me to go. 
He nods. Give me a hug. He r- wait, runs up to bed and hugs you. He says, you be careful. I know you're not with everyone else, but you're still the strongest person in the world, so be safe. Okay. She just kind of like hugs him and ruffles his hair. This is her baby! Her other baby's calling her and threatening her child. <laughs> You str- you quit. You get your shell ready. All your weapons. Have you done prepare. this in a while? Yep. And <laughs> lastly, uh, before anyone else, uh, in the city hall where you sleep as well, uh, Cynthia casts Misty Step to go inside your room. She says, "Oh, wake up. Save the day. Today's day." Today yeah. is the day. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's got something to do, and I got started to watch everyone as they do their thing. All right, time to get all my stuff on. You know what you need to do, right? Uh, I believe that's something to do with talking to my, like, going to the church or talking to the to the paladins. Watching over ducks. Yes. For watching what she's planning. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. And I don't want Zero to worry about it too much, so we'll take care of that. Alright. Do I have, do we have any plans, or do we have any backup plans? You just follow along with what they need to see what their plan is. <laughs> and I will take your trust on what's going to happen. Right. And she says, I'll see you in City Hall. Okay. She missed, or City Center. She missed these steps out of your room. Uh, you guys all awaken, get a quick bite to eat at one of the local shops, or Zelos. Zelo. Zelo. Zelo? Zelo. You don't need it. Uh, you already bought your food. Yeah. Coffee. <laughs> Caffeine is the only run, thing I mean. You run to the city center. Uh, next is a fountain that's been erected. Remember that this fountain used to be a fire pit. It was a good time. Um, so, um, Cynthia looks at you all. Uh, uh, standing up on the fountain says, finally, I've been here waiting and you guys finally make it. Now, I have carts all ready to go where you two need to go, where you need to go, and well, your adventuring party is waiting for you. As for you, you need to be ready because I don't know where she's going to go. Mm-hmm. Now, are there any questions, concerns, issues, no questions for her? Do I look different? Um, normally, you you don't see anything different in the normal self, but you take a kind of gl- quicker glance. It's like one of those. It's like I have to take a dope book take because at first, like it, it, it's it's there, but it's not. It's there, but it's not. Yeah, but then you take the dope take and you see the wings. Did it just do it there? Yeah? <laughs> you guys can't see them because you haven't ascended. Yes, Obi added some more. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, she's not saying it out loud. She's just... Does Obi replace them when they start getting old? Or is, is it just I, like I a, that. Oh, you replace them yourself. Yes. Sakasa looks at Cynthia. Why are you threatening your brother? Why is Obi laundering money from other people? That That's his kid. You're my kid. Why are you threatening your brother? <laughs> Answer that one. And I'll answer mine. He went up in crime. <laughs> and you just see Obi walking. And you see like kind of like three guards looking amazement as he walks out of the building. Obi? Obi says, What? Come here. He just walks over. Fly over. He flies over. What? What are you doing? They're trying to catch me. Ooh, it's so he, he went from extortioning to money laundering. Whose money is he laundering? What is he laundering? <laughs> like, yes. Laundering? Yeah, who who gave you a lot of money? Um, well, I went to the church and I said I need shiny to buy, buy food because you said what I was doing last time was bad. Oh, no. So I started getting a lot of money. Then people told me they had other money, too. So they want me to spend in different places. So I started spending their money. Like and then now... Now the guards are trying to catch me. They said they can't. I'm with Zero. And they said, like, oh, and so they can't catch me now. I'm, I'm a bird. Initiating the 10 foot roll. <laughs> and then they'll catch me. 
You hear me? Push ten feet. If you are out of, if you are ten feet away without my permission, I'm gonna Push shoot you. Um, no, so can you show ten feet? <laughs> I walk ten feet. Wait, ten, ten feet of. That's how far you can be away from me. But I don't have ten feet. That's how far you can be away from me. You mean like this hand? Like you can just gesture to your hand movement, like that? From here, all the way to over there. Will not shows that. <clears throat> but. Oh. <Aww. laughs> I'm gonna leash for you. I didn't do nothing wrong. Oh, <laughs> well, I did. They told me to spend their mo the money, and I put some money in the church with our money. Oh, and the guards just kind of walk over <sighs> from the town and say, "Like, um, I just look at them. What? <laughs> nothing, sir." Yeah. And they walk away. <laughs> and they said, "You can't catch me. Arrest <laughs> them. <laughs> Arrest her." <laughs> they turn around, look confused and concerned. Actually, it's not my church anymore, so... Did they know? You're still a threat! I don't know, heads are totally equipped with guns, weapons, armor... Um... Obi, next time you do something bad like this... It wasn't bad! I'm gonna let them arrest you. You told me that I need to get shiny, and they told me... To yeah, you're supposed to ask me! Not what did they tell me? the church! Listen, you're part of it. You say you work at the church. That's not me. Wait, where's you who you? <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't turn out like your sister. I have a brother? Yeah. You're not a bird. To be fair, neither are you. Where's my mother? <laughs> You don't have a mom. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I talked to a couple of adventurers. They have really sad backstories. I have a sad backstory <laughs> now. I don't have a mom. <laughs> you have two dads. So I lose a mom, but I get two dads. Equivalent exchange. What's that? Mm. Explain. You got. You can't explain math concepts. Anyways. Cynthia like looks over perplexed and she says, "Answer me that question, and I will surely answer all all that." He literally just answered that. He said he's laundering money in order to buy food because Zarl said so. <laughs> so no, he, no, no, no. <laughs> so he can launder money, but I can't threaten my sibling with death. No, you can't. Not with death, okay? Look, this is what I'm gonna say. Miko is your brother. He'll be there for you when you need him. And you will be there for him if he needs you, okay? Specify, not as experiments. Not as experiments, not oh, as no. anything dangerous. Not on my side. As emotional support. I got calm emotions. Or do you need help? Nothing dangerous. Yes, the dangerous stuff come for us, right? Well, Miko can use the sword, you can. For dangerous stuff, go to your Great, dad. I don't use weapons. Wait, no, you're not her dad. I you're am? more like her brother. You said so in a couple games past that you didn't feel like her dad. You felt yeah. like her brother. Yeah, that's true. Like, I'm or trying like to a loving uncle. I'm trying to be responsible. I'm trying to be responsible too. I'm trying to take responsibility for my own thing and, and go my own path too. He could Cynthia be like the says, dad that's trying to be a good listen, dad. There are more important things we're supposed to take care of rather than parent litigation. Look, I'm just trying to make sure that you and Miko get along and stick together when necessary. I don't want anything to happen to y'all while I'm gone. I appreciate the concern, and I assure you nothing will happen. Nico is also well taken care of. Don't think I don't have 40 scry rooms watching wherever he goes. Yeah, no, she's going to hug Cynthia. She loves both of her children. She's going to give like a little head pat right here. I'm going to bite Cynthia. You. This is my moment with the child. It's a little bit too long. Anyways, the carts are ready. Sure let's go. You now guys you need can to get help. going. All right, okay. Nacho, give me like 30 minutes. Alright. <clears throat> what the heck? Right, I have to go say goodbye later. to my kids too. 
I said don't start making a potion right there. Oh my god. It's like, it's 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 gonna, you see what you've done? Yeah. This will take an hour. It takes me 30 minutes. <laughs> if it takes him an hour, that means I just get to say goodbye to Zelo. No, because yeah. that's going to explain to another goodbye. Then I make two potions. It's not going to gonna be goodbye like that. It's going to be another kind of goodbye. Wait, you're a child. You should have known All right. that. I'm gonna do some self. I'm gonna just do some self reflection real quick. You can say goodbye maybe six times. I'm gonna. Make, I have six children. I'm gonna do some self reflection. Oh Is that a roll or something? I, by the twenty gods, <laughs> hurry up! Wait, okay, the manual. Self reflection a roll. Wisdom. All right. Fifteen. You self reflect. Take on small tasks at a time before taking on a big task. Fortune cookie closes. <laughs> okay, so I should probably just focus on like, if, if that's the case, I should probably just focus on dealing with this whole situation and then finding my passions in the future on. Because right now, there's too much chaos in, in this world to actually find what it is I'm really passionate about. But I can at least solve all these is, the, the issues that are in front of me before I do anything else. Which is basically, I think it's a healthy mindset to have at this point for, for my character. One thing at a time. Essentially. Um, so, with this, you go say goodbye to your children, go back to Zelo's bar, mm-hmm. or tavern, and you walk in, you see all your kids ready for breakfast, <clears throat> Zelo's getting everyone prepared. You see in the back that Zelo has a couple of workers. You finally hired some people. Yes. That's wonderful. It feels good not to any of these wake up to frying food. Yes. And I'm preparing the children to get to go into school. Uh, you're growing up so fast. Zero, we are <laughs> grown men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was my task and now you're doing it and it, it feels weird. Yes, but you are going away on the, essentially what is to come of an assassination. Don't say it like that. This is good honest work. <laughs> Any kind of he kind of rubbed your cheek and said, like, it is honest. It's not good. It is also good. It's good for the meaning. Now, I packed you a small lunch. You should only eat it whenever you are very hungry. As it will last for quite some time. Okay. And there are two honeytails. Do not tell Sakabe. I think she'll smell them out. I know. <laughs> are they for her or are they for me? No, I made a secondary kit of two honey cells for Sakaza, a decoy kit. He had you the decoy kit. Thank you. If Sakaza asks, these are the ones. <clears throat> you okay. give it to her. So first. mine are super special. Yes. Okay. These are not special at all. <laughs> they are meant to distract Sakaza. Okay. <laughs> this just proves Sakaza has an addiction. So yeah, call call me. Huh? Oh. Press continue. Before you do that, <clears throat> what's up? I want to leave Zeal with blue balls. Can I do that? <laughs> Wait, what? This is recording. Why do That's you fine. want to torture Zeal? Sure. How, how do you do this? Uh, do you really want me to describe it? Are you okay? Are we? We're gonna end it there. Zeal with blue balls. Cool. <laughs> I will just see like, hey, can we have a quick moment um, in privacy? Then yeah, okay. Stuff. Oh, you're okay. you're going to have to explain that later. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, you guys make it back to the town center. Yeah, the reason that's really it gives me one hour to. Oh my god. <laughs> he was she was right. Cynthia's just like impatient. After an hour, you make two potions. Decide which two. Um, and basically, I'm just like, fuck. They need me. I'm so sorry. Um, rain check. I gotta go. Hug him. Leave him. He looks utterly perplexed. <laughs> just. <laughs> they gotta go. Bye. Anyways, you leave, make it back to the town center. Cynthia just says, I fucking knew it. I knew it. Language. I knew it. He proved my point. Everyone split up. We don't have time <coughs> the car down. Short schedule. I hope so. It's all like that's what I'm making. She shoes you. Pack up your shit. Am I going to have to start it's practicing? Gonna, practice you? makes perfect. Pack up your shit. I'm not sure we gotta get going. He does it. He's an adult. I grab everything into my mouth. Where? <laughs> I'm done. We're not arguing this one. Go in the cart. No okay, curse. before I go, you better give me a hug. She hugs you very quickly. Okay. Can I pepper spray you? I'm going to walk away before I get castrized again. Castrized? 
or chastised. She walks away. <coughs> there are three carts there for you all. She's becoming more social. Two carts. And she got sunlight today. That's good. That's good. You're right. Yeah, Maybe I should like keep her here. She walks back to City Hall. <laughs> I yell, she which is our cart? <laughs> it is your name's on the cart. I okay. can't read. <laughs> She runs into the thing. And <laughs> That's true. We have a problem. She, you can read magical for me. You cannot read comics. Can I you guys, roll persuasion to keep her out in the sun a bit longer no. to make her healthier? Okay. She's already ran in. Now, are we okay with going to the carts and getting started? Yes. 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 I make two more potions and I Wait. packed up all my stuff. Just honey, <laughs> you're not going nowhere. Oh yeah, no, I'm staying here. No, there's a cart for you. Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm going where the car's taking me. You guys <laughs> all hop in your carts. One of you more confused than the rest. Um, <laughs> you walk in with, you hop on to the whole adventuring party, the one you've rescued beforehand. Five seconds. What? I run outside. Go to the driver of his cart. And say, 20 gold if you take him to the brothel first. <laughs> there. Yeah. My goal? Go. Huh? 20. Wait, my cards? Yeah. You, you, you don't know what's going to happen. You're, you're just sitting in the cart waiting for it to go. go. The causes, why am I here? <laughs> Is this where I'm supposed to slay the dragon? <laughs> <laughs> and you, from the you, as you guys kind of separate. Oh, uh, I just caught that. It's two days travels for all of you. With <laughs> apparently surprising him. <laughs> Uh, use up your rations. Oh, I bought a uh, lot of rations for us. No worries. Okay. I was going to hunt them. You four didn't. rations total you'll be using up because you and him uh using up two of your rations. Mm-hmm. And you are using up two rations. You, Sakaza, you're kind of like with the whole adventuring party. It's a bit unfamiliar. It's You haven't been adventuring over a whole season. This season's coming near the end as well. And, well, it's different... They're kind of talking about, like, the quests that were given at the adventuring hall, how the pay's unfair, or how the last quest they've taken is a bit uh, different as they had to take on a wormling. And they ask you, uh, the Leon, and ask you, what's the wildest quest you've gone on? Question for the DM about this. Yes. It, so they know it's the Casa, right? Yeah, they know all of you. Okay. Because I wasn't sure if she was in disguise or if she was. No. They ask you, so what's the wildest quest you've gone on? Depends, really. My whole life kind of feels like a quest at the moment. And the... The chief thing asks, then... What's the... What's the most adventurous moment you have, then, so far? Adventurous or murderous? <laughs> The uh, talented beside you, the one in big bulky armor, laughs. Uh, but the people says, "I adventurous, you know, like what daring actions have you done, or something so dramatic you didn't think you'll survive?" <laughs> and a brothel with a triton. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to talk about adventurous, I had a fun night once. Um, but <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, I give you inspiration. But if you're asking about other, damn it, I already had one. <laughs> Pass it on. No. But other than that, if you're wanting to know about dangerous, adventurous, I would never actually really call it dangerous. Um, it was mainly a lot of fun. One time I did jump off of. So, have you ever been on a ship and there's a huge mass at the very top? They all the not. crow's nest. I jumped from there onto the boat and killed a lot of people. And they look surprised, and the paladin like laughs and slaps his knee and says, "Like you didn't break your legs." Nope. And they just look in amazement. Look, I'm stronger than what you think. And uh, they only says, "Like well, yeah, everyone knows the story of you, Sakaza." You're like the strongest of the four, ne- of the, you're the strongest with the Nexus. I mean, if anything, I'm sure you can carry a building if you had to. One time I carried a whole uh, cart and a horse with everyone on it. So. Why do you have to carry the heart and, cart and horse? 
And a paladin and four additional people. And a paladin and four additional people. Okay. They all kind of just nod and just shut up. <laughs> it's one of those, um, it's called drugs. <laughs> I nearly died. <laughs> that time I almost died. No, it was very interesting to move extremely fast. That's actually how we ended up getting most of our companions, the ones that are animals, to be able to speak common. They had a uh, epiphany. Wait, you're, you're telling and the, the the squirrel girl, the one with the squirrel on her back, asked, "Is it common in Nexus to have for animals to awaken? You mean like blades? I have a squirrel that talks and everything, but are you telling me it's if an animal stays with you long enough, they just start talking? Not all animals. It depends." Um, Sometimes there is strenuous situations, uh, like uh, I'm trying to remember if Pancho was with us when we were when we rescued them. Yeah, he was, right? Yeah. Pancho. Yes. Okay, so uh, if you remember our team member Pancho, uh, Zarl's son. Yes, mm-hmm. he was with us, and he was one of the and Obi. I'm pretty sure. No, he was no. Pancho the first. They awakened different times. Oh, they did, didn't they? Yeah. No, so yeah, Pancho. Uh, he was with us on the cart ride. It was shenanigans. <laughs> with us on the cart ride. And uh, needless to say, I was moving so fast that uh, he did awaken. Then he... Yeah. It was that or die. He surpassed. With they look covers. surprised and they, uh, and they like say... Uh, the Leonin said, is it true that Nachos goes goes out and hunts for people to experiment on them? Is that true? I've heard a couple of things. I, some adventures are more scary knowing that if I were to go unconscious, Nacho just will sneak up on me. Is that true? Not. And the, the squirrel girl asked, so does Zero eat like two bodies a day? Is that like his health plan, or does he have any other reason? Does he need it? Like, I understand for the ceremony, but like, do you think he likes eating it? I don't know if he likes eating it or not, but the pound speaks up. Do we get pay raises when we do quests? It's it's it sucks being the same tier, but there hasn't been any tests lately in the guild hall to go up a tier. Note to sell. I had an epiphany. Note to sell. Do test. Do test for whenever like to, to upgrade your rank. Like, is there any way you can? I'll write that down yes. <laughs> before you forget. I know. And and he goes like, "We've been stuck at silver, and we want to go up, and we've done hard requests, but we haven't gone up." Include. It's uh, getting very frustrating. Test. That is very understandable. Go um. That. Higher. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. Ranks. I don't know if I've ever actually. No. Maybe. I'm unsure if I've ever actually joined a guild or not. Not officially. No. Yeah. Um, but if I'm honest, if I did or if I have, uh, I don't think it would be on my mind of rank. I think it would be more of the good times I spend with my friends. Or, as Nexus has become my family, we stick together. We go on adventures. It's a lot of fun. They all nod. And you guys kind of you guys enjoy more chit-chat as the cart ride goes on. I feel like the calls us just telling tales. <laughs> well, Every now and then smudging some details. You wait, are the, inve- wait, the old adventurer wait, now. Wait, isn't this the same group that we saved a while back? Yeah. Okay. But now they're getting, like, like um, first-person details or info and, like, the little stories. Because there's, there's a lot of stories that Kaza can share with them. Every now and then she's smudging some details because there's I'll stuff ask, they don't need to know. I'll ask this. Uh, but you don't have to role-play it out. Uh, they ask about the orgy bathroom. Do you confirm or deconfirm it? I don't know who started this. Yes, we shower together. But no. No orgies have yet to happen. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Probably so, will happen. We'll close it there. We'll close it there. No more answers. Um, 
She didn't say yet, though. Yet. We're going to start from left to left to right, but you two will go together. So uh, it doesn't matter what direction you went. Yeah. So, you guys are made to the inner city of Gennach. It's been a while, it's been, but for Zero, you've been here for a while. Uh, Cynthia keeps you informed that there are many leads to be taken here. And you guys kind of either need to follow up on them and however way you want to approach it, but do not make it obvious. If the people catch on to what you're doing, it's going to make things a bit more difficult. In uh, exaggerated expression, she tells you. Uh, so, her first thing is that there is a walking priest going about who knows the lead. You guys are kind of like three days in, you found, you found like a little camp that... Cynthia set up for you. And well, not camp, just kind of like uh, supply boxes around or little homes you can walk into mm -hmm. if need be. Um, so she you, uh, she informed you that there's a priest on the street who knows info where the head priest can be. And that she needs that information to start kind of locating where this priest is at. Uh, however, this priest is a very public and prominent one, and they're not um, very quiet. How do you guys approach this? Do we need to JFK them? If you kill them, then you won't get the information. So we need to interrogate this priest that is I very... I can speak with that. We, I don't, I'm not a cleric anymore. But... Wait, you're not a cleric anymore? No. When this happened? Last night. Well, who's in charge of the church? Um, I don't know. <laughs> That just means it just anybody could order me to kill people now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I might have to get this removed. <laughs> no. You gotta not... just speak it on a perch walking over the guy. <laughs> no, um, Key's in charge while I'm on sabbatical. Okay, it doesn't seem like he's gonna make me kill people. No, and, and I can always overthrow him. There's also that. How do you guys approach this? I could cause polymorph on the priest, make him into something we could catch, and bring him with us. We'd have to get him in a very... when he's by himself. Do we have to? Oh. It, it... Do you want to make a big scene? <laughs> oh, no, it's like... we turn him into, like... I guess something conspicuous, I think, conspicuous at the same time. Like, I look around. There's no butterflies around here, so we turn it into like a moth or a butterfly. <laughs> you have a snail you can release. I have a snail. <laughs> no. Like, I don't want anything that he's going to be like on the floor because then he gets stepped on. He's on, he's in public story. He's speaking. walking on the sidewalk. You gotta just kind of watch oh. him. He, well, not walking. He's down going to a house, giving a prayer, to give him, talking to people there. We could just wait by an alleyway and like... <laughs> yeah. Or you can polymorph him and we just drag him in. All right, uh, so I I still hear an alleyway no matter what. Is that the plan? Like, as soon as he's walking by an alleyway, we make a sound, like, you can make, like, a little kick, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right. He gets curious, tries to help the kid, and we turn him into something that we can carry around. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys kind of also brought a rat. You brought a Two rat. Rats. Two rats. UAV. UAV. Um, you guys see the uh, pastor walk by. You kind of understand this pattern of he just going down the street. You look for one of the openings by looking ahead of the street, walking in between one of the alleyways while no one's watching. You guys are essentially hooded figures, but you look like children. You look like <laughs> teen. And uh, you guys go to one of the alleyways. The uh, priest is walking by. Roll me. Who wants to roll performance check? Do you do? Do you do? Yeah, I you believe in you. I'll help you act. So two kids in danger. So you, guys, you guys trying to hide in the little alley. Uh, so you roll me a stealth. No, we're trying to hide. You're trying to make sure you're not seen by anyone else. <clears throat> you roll me performance advantage. With pressing dissertation, I'm going to make it. Um, it sounded like a bottle crashed, broke, and then it cried for help. Okay. Would you allow me to use a uh, path without a trace on myself? Sure. Oh no, help, something broke. <laughs> what was it? 
Um, 13 plus 1, 14 plus 2. So 16. Let's find out. My stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, right now it's at 24. Okay. 28. So, yeah, he, you guys are hidden. He makes sure that your faces are covered in the darkness of the alleys covering you. You, the, the priest is like, oh no, my child, I'm coming to help. Papa's gonna be so mad, he's gonna beat me. <laughs> uh, he runs yeah, over. Yeah, he will. <laughs> yeah, he will. He runs over. Uh, he's getting very close. How do you guys want to take him down? Um, quick precision check over his shoulder to see there's nobody walking behind. Yes, bro. <laughs> I'm pressing myself. Um, 16. There's no one walking behind. Well, there are people, but no one's paying attention at all. I'm going to try to slide and hand the um, book into... To slide and hand and cast the spell. <laughs> to cast what spell? Uh, polymorph. <laughs> I'm kneeling down. Oh, no. I'm <laughs> with my coat. Like, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's wrong me, wrong me side of hand. Natural 20. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you perfectly do it, and you hide it. You don't have to roll for the next one, because when he comes by and checks, he like, kneels down and looks at you two, you gotta slap him with it. How do you catch him? I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Polymorph is in uh, touch. It's a... Uh, What's the spell? Oh. Spell distance. Oh. So, as soon as he's, like, close enough, then he can't run away. Like, I just turn him into a snail. You turn him into a snail. Oh, God. Don't get it mixed up. <laughs> oh, no. I grab a Sharpie. <laughs> Two. Okay, you grab the snail, and we're gonna do the next part. Will be you guys' interrogation. Though. You just see me have a taser. I was back if you fell. <laughs> okay. So that scene of you. Next of you. We have one hour. <laughs> yes. Luck. Uh. Okay. So what's happening? Two days on the cart. You and the cart driver. You stop by the brothel for some reason at the beginning, <laughs> but then he turns around. Yeah, that's why you stop by the brothel. He says, this was the route I was given. And let me... Stop getting going tired. Was it either... Was it... Was it, was it Zero or a Nacho who did it? Cynthia. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so... Okay, so where am I... So where am I right now? Uh, two days in, you've been two, bro you, two rations. You're in the, in the forest. And you see like a camp of looks to be a couple people training. In armor, out of armor... It looks to be made, it looks to be haphazard together, and you see in the very front of it, uh, ducks. She's off with their helmet, and she's kind of training some like kids right now. And she runs over and she's like, "You alright?" I'm fine. She runs over and says, "Like, finally the cart came." Uh, hi. Hey, what's going on? Uh, nothing. I just came to see how everything is going. It's going great. You want to hop off the cart? Uh, yeah, sure. I hop off the cart. You pop off the cart, you see a bunch of paladins for information or preparing different items, equipment, and she says, Well, uh, it's not much, but right now we're just getting everything set up. Um... I hope you don't mind joining along for this mission. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't really mind. Um, so, what are we doing again? We're going to the three hells. The three hells? Yeah. May I ask what's there, the three hells? Because... Uh, fire giant. Okay, I can see why I was... I can see why I'm here. Yeah, we're... I trust you enough to have my back... Everyone's everyone's here preparing because we're gonna lift an assault on the fire giants. Like home, we need the fire giant's heart. Yeah. Uh, so what's the what do you need the heart for? It's for a special item. It has enough arcana energy to create what I need it to make. It's right now under wraps because I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay. So I'm not too worried about that just yet. Um, but. We're going to be the main assaulting force, me and you, okay. to take on the fire giant, while the rest of the paladins here are going to be around to make sure we're not overwhelmed. It's going to be a quick skirmish. Okay. So, I know it's a bit... 
difficult for you, um, as this is going to be, we're essentially breaking into someone's home and killing them. But they are part of the three hells, so I mean, it's not like they're all good. Mm. She takes you to one of the tables. You see kind of just weapons a lot of strewn about. She uh, picks up a sword, checks it, yells over to someone to resharpen it as it's not sharp enough. She says, When's the last time you practiced your sword? Uh, actually, just like a while ago, not too, just a while ago. I've been keeping it up a bit. How confident are you able to fight without magic? I have this one special weapon, but I'm not sure how effective it is against the fire giants. What's that? I pull up a blast sword. The blast sword or the blade? The bla- I left the blade with Cynthia. I left, I left her with Cynthia. Yeah. The gun sword? Yeah, the gun sword, yeah. The blast sword, yeah. Ah. I figured something like this would go to zero or something. I considered... I, have, I, have, I haven't had a chance to use it yet because for one thing, this thing was meant, against, meant to be used against magic users. Mm-hmm. And I thought to just save it for whenever I needed to use it. Okay. Have you practiced with it? Well, not entirely, no. I figured now would be a good time as any. Okay. Um, I suppose so. We gotta do it, we gotta do it eventually. Mm-hmm. Now. Uh, she's gonna take, she's gonna like, sits you down on the tables. A uh, little tent, and she asks, I understand what the task I'm asking is difficult. Not just fighting the fire giant, but also that uh, is what we are going to do. And I want you to know, I I know I put you in a very difficult spot. But you're one of the people I can trust. And I haven't uphold my oath in quite some time. In fact, that whole time I was captured, I was forced against my will to use my oath. But I grew up as a child doing that. Growing along with it and it is the one thing that has meaning to me. I can understand that. For the longest time, I've been thinking to myself like, what is it that I really want? To be honest, I don't have an answer to that. I have no idea what I'm passionate about, what it is I want to do. But the only thing I can do right now that is good for me is to do all the things that are in front of me that I, I am able to do and move forward certainly from that. And maybe I will find the answer. She kind of smiles. Well, I hope that means helping with the find the fire giant. That is, I can do that. I can I, do that. He will be in front of us. I, I don't want you to worry about that. They, they will be in front of us. Um, but I understand that meaning. But, I, I, but I'm also asking that, you know, if I'm going to trust you, then you have to, like, be also trust me, too, that if I find, like, a better solution to, like, any other problem we're dealing with, we both, like, know what needs to be done, okay? I think. I mean, I'm not saying I'm asking to break anything or do anything you that you're against, but... She nods and she, like, kind of gestured over to the other paladin. All these people broke their oaths due to Zero's little night of pleasure. And these people have lost their meaning. I returned and I saw the church and what state it was, and I saw a portion of my encampment, or what my group was. I knew their story, and I wasn't proud to say it. I also knew after finding out who Sakaza was, I knew eventually they would come. I just... You'd rather not have to do it at all. I'd rather not be part of that group. But they was their oath. They lost feeling. They, 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 like you, they now have no direction, no reason. And I gave them a path of redemption. Obviously, if Zero was to find out about any of this, we would be killed on the spot. But these people would rather die for a reason than die broken. I want to give them that. I know I have to pay my pensions when it comes to zero when it comes time. But 
I'd rather stand for something than nothing. That's fair. I would honestly just hope you and I were just fighting, you and I would fight together against the God of Humanity in general. We will. We can do that. We'll take care, we will take on any challenges on together. And she kind of like, <clears throat> she tries to put her hand on yours. Do you back out? No. Okay, obviously I hold <clears throat> both our hands together. Look, um, so, what I'm thinking, we have basically been going all along to like this crazy, intense journey of emotions. Of like, will we, won't we, or like, you've been kidnapped, I've been dealing with some nonsense myself. She says, I, I mean it as a gesture of friends. Okay. There was once a time, I won't disagree, that I did feel to break my oath for you. But you, you, you were, something happened that night and you may have, you may have been swayed by my God or something that to not go through with it. So I stay strong on my oath. I, if I'm being honest, I myself kind of just thought, you know, I should let, I should just like wait till this whole journey is over before anything actually ever came out of it. Also because I thought I've. I thought that since the whole like idea of me quote unquote like you know by purchasing you as a quote unquote slave quote unquote it be it looked like really very odd and very weird. So I, I, I understand. I mean, I think I think there would be definitely talk in the party if something were to happen. Oh, but I'm I, still getting I'm still getting, I'm still getting stupid crap about the whole origin of bathroom thing. I, Nothing actually happened. Nothing I happened. know. I've heard the story and I know the truth. Okay, thank God. But um, sorry. I would have broken my note for you that day. And I, it's fine. So, for now, let's just... We'll take on the fire giant. And be friends, even though we have this like kind of weird, awkward yeah, thing with my yeah, whole... Yeah, 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 okay, cool, cool, cool. You um, with the smile. Okay, all right, fine. Uh, so, um, uh, practice. She smiles, picks up a sword, and puts on her helmet. She says... You have to prefer for anything, and this fire giant is rather strong. We don't know what forces it will bring or what it can do, so be and prepared. I can still freeze it more or less, right? It, it's a fe- it's weak to ice, right? I'm assuming. She she says, "I don't know." My the scribes are currently researching into what the fire giant does, while they're also making the portal to the three house. So. We'll do what we can, and we'll get what information we can get from the fire giant. Fair enough. You know, I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, now, lastly, Sakazla. The party makes it to the inner city, or to the outer city. The one that you've come familiar with, where you've, like, kind of stopped by multiple times for. There you see... You recognize the giant crater. Oh, it's this place. <clears throat> yep. You see that sound, like, the reconstruction has been happening? And Cynthia kind of speaks to you earlier, telling you that there is a lead, and that it is uh, one of the warehouses here. You're going to have to raid it, see what boss it is, and maybe you can get information from that boss. Uh, The party understands the meaning, and they... Begin to ask, uh, one of the party members begin to ask you, um, what is, I, I understand why we're doing this, we're gonna go hunt down the ghost. I mean, if we find one lead, that's, we're gonna go from there. So what are you looking for? My friend. Wait on, speak up. Is this some sort of oath that you've taken to them, or, uh, a promise you swore to them? No. It's just... He's my buddy. I want him back. I'm trying to avoid saying anything. She, uh, they nod and the girl says, but... I mean, I understand if... If uh, Nacho or perhaps Zero or Lux, even from what your stories have told, and they were all meaningful... But they are not 
I mean, compared to everyone, they're not as powerful as you all, as you, I imagine. I like him, okay? We were doing great. We were getting along. I thought he liked me too. And then he ups and leaves. She, uh... Without even saying goodbye. She kind of looks at you, a bit of your body language, and goes like... Perhaps a bit of, um... Subtlety was needed. And I'm sorry for my friend for not doing that, but... You understand, like, she kind of walks you aside. I know I may sound like a crazy ex or whatever, but that's not the reason. Okay? We were good buddies. I saved him from whatever was going to happen. You know, he only... He only said four words at most, but I understood. I understood. I understood him the best. She understands. She not. We got along, and he even gave me a present. She literally went like that. Do you show her the knife? Yeah. He says, "You know, people only make something that's meaningful without um more behind it, right?" What exactly do you mean? What I'm talking about is perhaps they saw an interest in you. Yeah, well, I had an interest in him too. Why do you think I'm doing this? Well, okay, I, well, I want to understand because, and she's kind of took you to the corner. Listen, those guys won't get it. But I thought you and Phelan were already, um. Uh... One night! It was wild. <laughs> that was one night. I, I'm just wanting to confirm. I'm sorry, but the story you told me sounded pretty young. Okay, that time we did have an orgy, and that time it was a lot of fun. A lot of stuff went down. So it's like a that was a one and done. That it hasn't happened again. If you're asking. Okay, I. But this person. I mean, maybe the. Are gone for a reason. Maybe they didn't want to hurt you. Well, he could have at least said bye. I suppose not. Either way, something was happening. I rescued him for a reason. Well, okay, so it wasn't exactly a rescue, but like, I. You know what? I didn't buy him. <laughs> what was it? You rescued him. Yeah, I rescued him. He came into my life. I like him. I'm going to... Basically, I want to ask him why. I want to ask him what's going on. I know this may seem extremely stupid, but it's... You want to know? Yes. And plus, maybe while I'm here, I can find out information on my other friend. I say Fred, but he's more like a parent figure in my mind. This other friend is Hamburg. Yes. Okay. You you told us on the cart. I wasn't. You don't have to hide the Hamburg. <laughs> Look, the people I care about, I care about deeply. I care about Whistler. I care about Hamburg. I want to find these two. <laughs> And I'm hoping that if I find Whistler, maybe I can convince him to help me get Hamburg. <laughs> okay. Either that or he can say, look, I don't love you anymore. Goodbye. But who knows what will happen. And if that's the case, okay, bye. Be safe. Be on your way. Have fun wherever you're doing. She nods and... Maybe we can find out some extra stuff we need to know. If not, it's Okay. She like walks you back. And says, <laughs> She's having a mental crisis. <laughs> she, you're like, I, I understand. Let's go find this lead. Let's see what we can do. And get info and go from there. And um, mm -hmm. you guys essentially go to a sewer. And you're like, it's like a fighting pit. Except, it's more disgusting to think about. There are several cages along the shorelines where you're going to. 
kind of taking a little traversal route as like more pe more things have been dug out for it. Uh, the fighting pit itself is where all the waste goes down. So you fight in sewage. You will die if you win. And you don't die because you will get infected and suffer. Um, what a rink. The whole party is unhappy. Like, they, they can smell it. You smell worse. <laughs> the cockatrice poop, yeah. Yep. So she's probably just like, I don't see why y'all are flinching. This isn't even that bad. This is not the worst. Um, you should see what we did to that one woman. <laughs> let's say... Let, let, that one woman and then the time she burned. She was at the precipice of the burning stench of the... You guys, you guys essentially fast forward a little bit to some disagreements. Yeah. Uh, you, because now we're going to do reverse. After her, we'll do luck, and then you two. Uh, you, the disagreements come upon, and some of the patrons are unhappy, and there's a fight that breaks out with the, your party and them. Uh, your party informs you, or Cynthia informs you, to not pay attention to this fight. They'll take care of the fighting pit. They want to clear it all up. They're fighting all the bad guys. Um, but there is the leader, or not the leader, but the um, watcher. He's the one who kind of watches over the whole finding pit and makes sure it goes in order. He's the one you want to go after. Uh, so you do this. You run after him through the sewers, stepping all over different materials, passing through different people, and I mean really passing through them. Yes. <laughs> she, she's bulldozing people. Yes. And you tell you corner them at the end of like kind of a caged off area where there's multiple other people. You see your handiwork as you see several people with slave brands on them. Uh, so you can kind of assume where they all came from. Yeah. Uh, at the end, you corner this guy. He's an old, uh, old elf, long beard, is a drow. Uh, he grabs a child out of a cage and holds him with a dagger under their throat and says, like, one more step, and I'll fucking kill this kid. Why? You and your friends have kind of ruined the only thing that got me going here and making me good money. <laughs> okay, so that's what you meant. I thought you meant something else. The hell, what other things do you think I mean? You said it got you going. I'm not some <laughs> sick brook like that. Well, then phrase correctly. What do you want? Was it information? Cynthia <laughs> speaks up. Yes, it was information. About what? <laughs> About where the person who... The, what, the, what are the ghosts? Oh! Crap, I don't know his actual name. We need to know which ghost is holding up this place. That way we can go ask that ghost and ask them where Whistler went. Thank you, darling. Okay. <laughs> I feel like she's just... <laughs> she's at her control center drinking like a small pouch of tea with bags under her eyes and going like, oh my god. While she's watching everyone else except Lux and she's going like, <sighs> Yes. Find out their information. Who's the leader here? I am. F that. You're obviously just the watcher. You yeah. you overwatch the goings ons. I don't know what you do when you watch the goings ons, but you watch the goings ons. Why you want to know, huh? Now what you gonna do? Ruin my money? Take away the only thing that gives me going? Dude, I am literally only here for information. Wrong persuasion. Or else. <laughs> Not 20! Oh, fuck. Well, this is one of the occasions. The guy kind of like says, Swear to me that you let me leave. You won't let, you won't tell me one. Uh, you kill all the patrons, I can move operations. Swear on that, you won't bother me or my new operations. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Everything what? you want to know. 
Why would I bother you in your operations? I literally, I literally just said I came for the information. Fine. I need to get my computer now. Wait a second. I feel bad for this little kid. This little kid is probably yeah. terrified. Like what? What is going on? I'm scared. <laughs> Not only terrified, you just kind of told him, like, yeah, I'm going to save you. <laughs> you just told the kid, I'm going to save you. Greater. Was the little kid in the cage? Yeah, and you pulled him out of the cage. Ah, okay. <laughs> the truly terrifying one. Greater. Greater. Not, not regular. Oh, I didn't charge. It didn't? No. That sucks. Was it orange light when you connected it? It was. The reason it's greater is because you speak these giant hands. <laughs> I connected it and I made sure it was connected and then I left one. Um, oh. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to figure that one out. Um, I'll bring my charger because you can probably put it there. Oh shit. No, it's not you. I need to look up the notes. My bad. Huh? No. That's talking to the DCF. Yeah. yeah. Their name, Trick. They, they look like a pile of leaves, and there are animals all over the place in the city, in this little out here town. I'm sure you've seen them before. Is that true? No. Listen, I know where their next coming up is going. They're going to like a out abandoned tavern in the later outer city. That's where their new operations is, ever since their big one here blew up. That's all I know, alright? They let me hold the arenas here, I give them a portion of the cut. Okay? Okay, so the person who runs here, just double checking, make sure I have all the information, uh, is a person named Trick, and I'm guessing they're... A small the, pile of leaves, essentially. Small pile of leaves? Are they a part of Ghost, or no? It's not charging. Why? Because I'm having to lose this. Yeah, they were one of the ghosts named Trick the Unburden. The Unburden. I feel like she's just repeating stuff so she can remember. I feel like she'd pull out a piece of parchment and start writing this there, down. Just, yeah. Plugged in. Thank you. This poor kid. Low power charger connected. <laughs> the low power one. No, it should be a good one. Oh well. As long as it charge and holds battery. Anyways, she sa he says anything else? Huh? Anything else you didn't know? No, no, no. Do you ever do the ghosts ever come down here, watch the fights, maybe have conversations and stuff? Mm -mm. Ever since their main one it doesn't work. Ever since their main thing blew up. They they've been keeping themselves distant. Only each of the other members know. That's about it. Oh, it just does that. Weird. Oh well. And tell us what you Ah, we're fine. This one has only the whole charge. Purely out of curiosity, because I might want to start one of my own. How much money do you make here? Get 20 gold a night. That's actually pretty good. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is this like your salary or is this like all the bets and stuff? No, that's my salary. That's what the profits usually that's an average. And the kid's like very terrified. <laughs> is there like a special place they keep the, the, the bets? Yeah, I got a little betting box where they're held by two of my other people. Probably dead. Why would they be dead? You can't hear the screaming and all that, the fighting going on. I'm sorry, I've heard so. I run a brothel. I'm, I'm zoned out when it comes to loud noises. Anyways. What's a brothel name? It's a nice brothel. No, what's the name? What's the name? Yeah. It's, it's a nice brothel. No, what's the name? Of Why? The brothel. You, you planning to visit? You going to be a patron? Oh, no, no, there's no brothel here anymore. I'm trying to remember if she was the one that caused that. You, out, you destroyed the other brothel. Then oh, yeah! You, then the brothel here that was yours was taken away by Phaleron. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> What's that same one that ran away? Huh? It's the same one that ran away. Oh. Damn, he got two legs and one? Yeah. Shit. Okay. That's why it's called a moving brothel. Papa Yaga's <laughs> Papa Yaga's brothel. Okay. Or Papa Yaga's courthouse. Now, um, you, you let, let me eat now. Go. Yeah, let's go, the kid. Oh, yeah, that's part of it. Cool. <laughs> she causes no, kind of come visit that. The kid runs over. <laughs> it comes visit you. She kind of like <laughs> blocks the kid's view. Oh, no, there's no way he was leaving alive. Oh, shit. You're double crossing? Or you're crossing? She didn't swear. Oh. That never left my lips. So you're going to kill the guy? Yeah, and then steal all the money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> steal the money? <laughs> you take 20 gold off his body. And, um, well, she also heard where the rest is. He would have yeah. lived if he said he made zero money. <laughs> You're able to find, also see that there is a map on him. Also, if he didn't take a child hostage. Is that the lie you drew? Yeah. What about a regular person hostage? Well, then maybe. No. Uh, but this... it's a child, because it has a soft heart for you, children. You know that there are a few places with a X on it? And there is one circled, and it says the word, uh, it has the word trick on it above it. This is where you assume trick is at. Okay, so she's going to go see, once he's dead, that poor kid's probably terrified. Yeah, there's a bunch of other people watching, by the way. Yep. She just kind of turns towards them. Are they slaves, or are they, like, slaves? people, people? Well, the people, people. Wow. 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 Well, she knows. Anyway, yes, they are slaves. Okay. She's not hurting the kid. She no. actually protected the kid from seeing the gruesome act of her killing the dude. At the least, yes. At the, at the very least. The little kid doesn't need to see that. So it's oh, like one no. of those things. No, I don't want to see this anymore. She kind of just... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you did it for you. What's going on? I don't want a coin. Anyways... So she she just kind of looks at the people and it's like one of those. Yeah, and you leave. And it's like when it's while while she she has a child, she kind of walks up to them. Mm -hmm. Can y'all protect her? They all not. Wait, the the party? No. Or the other slaves? The other slaves. Yeah, they all not. I was about to say, do your daughter. Believe me, part of me wants to, but I have my hands full at the moment with the two that I have. They all nod. You... It's like one of those, do y'all belong to anyone? I know, that's a horrible question, <coughs> but it's an honest one. So, I'm guessing you belong to this guy, and he was like going to say, like, fight, fight, fight. They all nod. Okay, well, you're free now. Um, if you... Hmm? You don't want to challenge Zero? Time zero. Oh, for sure. kids. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You, you release the slave. You unlock all she, the cages. While doing that, she kind of is like, if you go here. You're marking your place? Yeah. I'll, I'll give you work. It might not be what you want, but I'll give you work. And at least there you'll have food. Mm -hmm. Shout out there. If you work. Okay. You reconvene with the rest of the party. Yeah. You inform them of what information you found. They've kind of told you they've kind of swept out the area. Uh, they make sure you kill the guy. They are happy about that. Well, you didn't think I was going to kill the person? And Leonin speaks. No, we, we knew you would kill him. But they're making sure he's dead. Yeah, we're just like a, like a double tap. Yeah. We don't want anyone resurrecting him. Yeah, that's good. That's a good point. Yeah, and no. with this lead... My two, line was drawn when he used a child. Two days from now. Yes. You'll be going to that tavern. Next, Lux. Yes. The portal is, May? is almost being done. Completed to the three house. You guys have been training for quite like two days or so. And she asked you... So... Curious to ask, what is your relationship with that slave? Oh, we're just like friends now. Now, 
I mean, before, obviously, it was kind of like the whole thing that happened between you and me. Like, you know, I I bought her from, like, the whole, like, auction thing. And now I just kind of, like, we're trying to just be friends with her because, obviously, you know, she deserved a better life than that. She nods and goes, Huh. I would, I would ask you to please stop buying friends. <laughs> I make no promises. Because I cannot, con- because you know what? I have a soft heart. Well... I need you to stir yourself because we're about to go in hell. That okay, not nah, since I thought I'd hear this week, but fair enough. Fair enough. Like most of the people are ready to up. Like there's rows of like at least forty people total, twenty twenty on each side, and she's she says, when we step in, me and you are gonna storm the front gates and run and just essentially secure the spot, break the front gates, go on the fire giant. And get him. <coughs> right? We have no time we have no time to kind of hang around or do anything. Mm-hmm. So no matter what you see or do, we gotta go for it. Okay. Let's go. I have the last already and my magic on hand. The gates open to the three hells. You immediately feel the heat come upon you. You can see from the direction you're in, there are pits of fire. There's a bridge in front of you looking to be a castle of sorts. Decrepit, but something. And you can see above you what looks to be just flying imps all over. The the army, the army runs in. Run. They all yell a war cry. Do you join them? Yeah. You yell in, running into the hell, to the deep of the hells. You see now that the paladins are currently, even just in a second within the hells, they are fighting imps. They are fighting other smaller demons, lesser demons. To the ones in front of you, to the ones beside the bridge, a group of paladins themselves are at the entrance guarding it, making sure nothing escapes. Mm-hmm. They are constant in threat, but you hear the thunks of arrows, the fire of the crossbows, the metal hitting flesh. Mm-hmm. And you make it over, you run past the As I'm running past, can I like outstand my hand and just create like, you know, barriers of like spiked ice sticking out of the ground so I can pale the... Romeo Fifteen. That's a uh, plus three, uh, four, uh, wait no, plus four, so that's a uh, uh, plus five, okay, uh, 20, 21, 20, 20, 30, 20. Jesus. Thirty twenty. Okay. Uh, you were able to cast. You as you run down, you shoot spike after spike. Any one imps you can. No, no, not like spikes. Basically, I'm just well. My idea was like as we're running, I'm building like walls to like you know protect the paladins. Barriers. Barriers, but also ones that like impale the imps as they're coming towards us. I see what you mean. You. Focusing your magic, running over, harnessing it, firing it when you can, just making a small barrier, just a line in between them so they have some form of cover. Mm-hmm. The lesser creatures run up the bridge trying to get on, but they are quickly stabbed down. You hear cries of monstrosities trying to fly over you, and ducks quickly picks up Chase and she sa- as you guys make it up to the front of the castle. The doors have been aligned with several barrels that you can see they're pulling out of different pouches. And she says, you can cast a fire spell, right? I can. And no one out here, let's get some distance. Once we get in, we're going to run in. The rest of the people stay back here and guard us. Okay. Remember, we got to either do this fast or we got to do something really good. Okay, um, uh, real quick before we do that, I can cast, like, another ice-like wall with spikes over it. For it to, to give the life protection. Uh, 17. Okay. With 17, that passes. You make another fortification, focusing in while they set up the barrels. Above you, the imps are not able to just penetrate directly. They have to fall from the sides, making an even fight for all. Yes. The barrels are set up. Uh, Duck looks at you through her helmet. You see her eyes, your sweat pouring down both your faces. She nods at you. Uh, you fire. Yep. You fire your fire bolt. What's that? Uh, fire bolts. Okay, yeah, fire bolts. We got. 
you fire firebolt. It hits the barrels. Roll me a constitution check. As a large explosion thuds all over. Shield. Shield. Barrier. But yeah, you're ruined. 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 Huh? Ruined. Your ear still. It's not the matter of you taking damage. It's you're still in close vicinity and next to an explosion, your ears are going to either ring like hell or you're going to recover fast. Oh, fuck. Where did I die, Spell? Oh. Check under me. Is it there? It might be, it might be under the couch. Hold on. Sorry. Uh. Mm. I didn't know they were that expensive. Here we go. Tasers? Yeah. Yeah. The gun tasers? Range. Six. Fuck. It probably is the range. Uh, where's the other one? Because we get up close and then I just Constitution go. is for saving throw, right? Yes. Constitution saving throw, it's a plus six, that's an 11. You were able I mean, no, to... No, 12, 12. Okay. You're able to withstand the explosion of noise. And you quickly recover as you run through the smoke, run in. Yeah, the paladins are yelling like, behind to move in as they are finding their own monstrosities. You run in. You are past a bridge. Beneath you is a, lo- is a rake, lake of lava. Oh, wait, I'm plus four. I'm level, nine, level eight, right? Hmm? Nine. Nine, yeah. The plus four, right? So nine, plus, so wait, that's plus four, right? Proficiency? Yeah. Okay. Know what's your constitution? Uh, my constitution is plus... Two plus plus four for my saving throw, so that's six. Plus, yeah, okay. Twelve. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, twelve. Yeah. In front of you, across this bridge, stands the fire. Sits the fire giant. Beside him, two hellhounds. Sitting beneath him, putting down their hammer to their side, and looking down at you, unamused by your sudden entrance. Sweat pouring down your faces. You wiping it off very quickly. Ducks taking heaps of breaths through the thick armor of metal she is carrying. You two stand in front of the fire giant. Now, you two go one to now next to uh, Zero and Nacho. You make it to one of the safe houses. How much time do we have left before he turns into a, a human again? Oh, you've already tied him up and everything. I put the handcuffs on him. Okay. And the toy. Are those the fuzzy ones? No, these are union toys. Uh, oh. Prevent magic. Oh. And the <laughs> priest looks towards you, and he like kind of awakens. He's like, "By the gods!" And he, you see him kind of move his hands in the back. Why am I not able to cast message or sending? Um. Besides the point, we just need information. Yeah. By hell's, what are you, beast? Do you guys reveal yourselves or no? Did we ever get disguises? I have a you guys ring. have masks. Or not masks, but you have like hoods and everything. I have a ring. Did we get rid of it? Huh? Did we get rid of those rings? I had to buy another one because I came back to the city. Mm-hmm. I don't have it. Yeah. You could have stolen zeros, but you did. <laughs> and a Chicago bought one. I suppose only I have the then. You have a Chicago? No, but I have the ring. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just look like a regular blonde child. Will that make it? Can I roll an insight to see what would make him feel more okay. comfortable with being mugged? Just. Like, how racist is he? Like, he is does, a human. He, does he want to see another human? Does he want to see a monster? Like, what What will make... I, can't, I don't think a roll's going to help you on this one. The insight, like, maybe how... Roll insight. Roll insight. He wants to see, insight. Insight. Wants to see Jessica. <laughs> Okay, that's a two. two. Two plus seven is a nine. You don't know. Can Obi help me by no. saying... You'll never catch me. <laughs> no. You'll never catch me. Alright, I just look like a regular human thug then. Let me try to see behind them. Oh, you, do you reveal yourself? No. No. Of course not. And I said, like, what do you want? I just want information. Yeah, it's worse for having an attitude. She's a bitch. She's By nice. the gods. What do you have? What do you want that to ask That doesn't seem me? nice. Fair enough. It's just um, me. So, you know, there's this orb <laughs> that powers the city. Uh, we just want information on that. I have to believe that I have any information of that sort. Or that maybe there's this also this cobalt. <laughs> Monster, are you speaking of? I just do the thing 
We just want information on James and um, the orbs, right? Cynthia, you just hear Cynthia like grab her mm-hmm. head. No, you're not asking for them to. <laughs> They're not the lead. They are the person to Zombie. speak to so that we can know where the other priest is so that way that priest knows where they're to James and... Which other priest? We need to know where one of your brothers is. The church has many followers. Well, yeah. And so they said, if you let me finish, and instead of continue the statement, you know, it would be very useful. Finish the statement then. Oh, can I finish? Do I have your permission? Yeah. Oh, you know, how, how, you should torture him or do something. To... I will mute you and we will take this into our own hands and cause a big scene here. Fine. Holy. Obi, Obi looks down at you. He's been silent because you have told him in the city you do not want him to speak. Mm-hmm. He wants to speak. <laughs> We want to look. We want information on the high priest Ebark. And she, he looks at you. You want me to inform you of where my brother is? Yes, please. <laughs> to a miscreant such as you two, have you revealed who you are? No. Well, you see, <clears throat> we have gotten a message from a god that he is involved in some information we are investigating. Romy deception with disadvantage. Yeah, can I? Can I tell you how it will be an advantage? Can I, will you let me tell you? He can't. I will say this. The reason you have this advantage is because you are human. You're not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't know that. Yeah. Nine year old. No, I will be looking at him and I'll be like... <clears throat> Just well, be clear, you are part of the Sisters of Caesar, right? Yes, I'm one of the brothers of the Sisters. You know, anyways, like God gave us this messenger and told us to look for brother Ebark. Ebark. I just grabbed Obi. Speak about brother Ebark. God. Speak. God. Talk. God. Oh, we have to Come. If you don't talk, I'm going to kill you. Out. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> you have to go to the side. Obi, you're supposed to talk. You told me not to no. talk in the city. Now you can talk to this guy. Dude, this may be a trick. No, it's not a trick. I promise you. If it's a trick, I'll give you a hundred thousand gold. Well, no, you told me I couldn't get gold anymore. I said you could have it for me. <laughs> Please talk to this young man. Oh, he looks mean. He'll he'll believe in God if he sees you talk. What's God? Just talk to him. Tell me that you're here to investigate Brother E. Bark. I'm here to investigate uh, Bark. Brother E. Bark. And the guy looks utterly disgusted. You bring me a talking fowl? Well, that shouldn't be talking. This is a sign of God. This is a sign of the devils. This is demonic work. And you expect me to believe this? You are nothing but miscreants and marauders. We were foretold about an old guy who is bald and has an orange beard. With the birthmark at the store on the left hand, we must find him. We find him for what? Murderous intent. No. I tell you nothing of my brothers. We're not killing him, right? <laughs> huh? We're not killing him, We're not right. killing him. No, we're not trying to kill anybody. I will tell you nothing. <clears throat> release me now and I'll swear to you a swift punishment from the church. Can I please Why release you then? Or else I damn your soul to the hells where you belong. Does that work? No, it doesn't work like that. Okay, so we... Can I, um... Can I, um... So I'm no longer a cleric, right? No. But I still have clerical knowledge. Yes. Would you allow me to intimidate him by reciting some... Cleric laws that, that show that I'm not just a miscreant. I know I'm in disguise. Sure. Mormon religion. What a 15 to it. Barely. He, he kind of recites some laws that you understand of being what it means to be a clergyman yourself. And he says... And yet you bring a false face to me. 
If you speak such laws, such rules, then the honesty is the very least you give to another man of the cloth. Is he talking about my polymorph discovery? Talking about who? Talking about you. Me? Yeah. Uh, what about if I say, um, fuck, what's the god of tricks name? Mischief? I'm a follower of mischief. Mischief doesn't allow me to show my face. Then I have nothing more to say to you. Can I do this my way? <laughs> What's your way? I don't think he was stopping you. <laughs> Violet? I mean, we tried doing it the nice way. I'm gonna tase him. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I'm using like his own hat or whatever religious paraphernalia to gag him with it. What's the DC? Uh, for just a regular weak shock, mm -hmm. it is a DC 16. He passes barely. And he says, You dare do this to a man of the cloth? I do it again. He snaps out of it. You'll burn in the I three hells. Next 20. <laughs> You will deserve all the punishment you gain. I pepper spray his eyes. <laughs> What's the DC on that? 15. You guys are light. These are weak things. I'm not trying to kill him. You're not, you, you don't need to kill You have a, first off, you have a surgeon here. Yeah. You have he one. switch the price of his foot with his foot. I'm just using my new toys, basically. He's uh, playing. He, What's the DC? 15. And he passes. <laughs> and he starts reciting scripture in front of you. Okay. These toys are as fun as I thought they would be. Hey, I think I know that one. Another <laughs> <laughs> <Right. her> life. <laughs> Alright. Nacho. Yeah. I think these toys aren't that fun anymore. Do you want to do your thing? Shink! <laughs> Once again, are you still hiding your faces? I just want the hood to cover my face. But if I stretch out my arms, you can see my hands. He looks down. Fluffiness. Like, what monster are you? Claws. Extent. <laughs> what do you do? Start going like this under his chin. <laughs> Roman intimidation. <laughs> you're gonna take something from somewhere else. Ten base ten plus. Imagine you had a twenty in charisma for some fucking reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. Intimidation. Oh. Yeah. Plus two. So total twelve. You scare him, and he he says, you, what is "I wasn't that? always a monster, you know." <laughs> what? Oh, damn. I show him my leg. <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> Should I roll for arousal? <laughs> yeah. Go for it. He's what the fuck? Do. No, he's not aroused. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you say, oh, all of you? <laughs> oh, thank God. I said, oh, thank God. Maybe, yeah. He's more unplanted than me. <laughs> what sort of sick creature are you? A doctor. <laughs> a lawyer. <coughs> Let me ask you. I mean, I'm not as bad. I could have said tax collector. <laughs> I'll never tell you where my brother is. Do we still need a brother? Hmm? Anyway, reject ball. Right. I look into his eyes. So essentially you can't reveal yourself. Yeah. And he says, it's you, the demon. What do you mean? You're... You're the cat of the nine lives. The killer of the city. The destroyer of everyone. To be fair, it wasn't just me. <laughs> Oh, hold still. He looks up to you. You must be part of him. You must be with him. Who are you, monster? Oh, we don't care what this guy's is. Right? Oh, he speaks up. Oh, well, he's actually my dad, and he's a uh, he's actually Zero. Zero's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hush! I just take off the ring. My my name is already been exposed. Oh, it's you. It's the little. Goblin, that step out of the cave on the shit stain, here we are. Now tell me, 
about how cavernous is your mouth? What? Say, oh. Are you away from the answer? You, you see, you, my partner's going to ask you a couple of questions. If you don't ask, answer the questions, something's going to happen. I'll answer I, no questions to you bad yeah. devils. I turn to a gaseous form. What? Oh, no. Well, oh, oh, no. Talking, I turn into gaseous form. When he's talking, and I go inside his mouth. Well, oh, <laughs> what do I? Is there a role for this? Uh, no, it's just if I release a spell, full size nacho. Oh no! It is Ant Man. <laughs> the ghosts are fighting back in Pac Man. Ant Man evolved. He starts tearing up and starts trying to shake you out. But after like a minute, he I can't. I fall back out. <laughs> you can't get him out of there. You know, I think I could have gone inside his lung. I think you should have gone deeper. I mean, I can, but then I don't want to be inside his body that that long. He, he coughs and and, he- and breathes and says, "Like, what do you want to know? Where's your brother at? He'll be attending a funeral. Uh, what's he could in remembrance of one of our others." In two days, he'll be. He'll be in the northern part of the city for the funeral. It will be him alone and his guardians. I see. He reads. What are your devil's plans for him? Okay. So we got the information we needed. Um, we don't want him dead either. <clears throat> My brothers will fight you to the very end. Mm-hmm. Demons such as yourself deserve no mercy. I just spit at him. Shut, shut up, the adults are talking. Bring out a small vial that's pink. Remind us how to gain. Unbearable aphrodisiac. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know no, I was no, no. It doesn't take much. And... No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> will you, do you promise not to tell your people about us release me and I promise you a swift death for my family do you have you studied brain maps or no you think you can keep making them you want to lobotomize somebody <laughs> yeah <laughs> I reach into my medicine bag pull out a small drill you don't fuck right you have <laughs> reach in grab a small hand saw put it right there <laughs> It's really easy. I make one Let's find out. drill hole right here, and from that drill hole, I just start seesawing my way all the way across the screen here to reveal the brain. I won't break monsters. I'll tell no, all he, of them. He just asked me a question, Matthew. Don't worry. You won't break? It's not that deep. Um, so I have movable cover. It weighs 800 pounds when fully flattened out. Can I just throw it at his feet? Wait, wait, wait. What are you throwing? My movable cover. Just grab it, throw it at his feet. You know that will break. It no, will, it won't. It will crush I it. I said his feet. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Oh wow! Just throw eight hundred pounds in my leg. Oh, right foot. Sorry. Nothing will happen. Uh, just his finger. His toenail. Why are you carrying eight hundred pounds? A bag of holding. It's wonderful. You throw it, and it just you hear what sounds like a smush, and he starts yelling. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think I need this anymore. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you couldn't break. He's just crying, yelling right now. Uh, you're still gonna need to lobotomize him, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With we're, that, we're not gonna kill him. We're gonna like, cut to that part. Mm-hmm. We're gonna say two days will pass. Yeah, right. And I'll just tell Nacho to help me fit my movable cover back in my bag because it's 800 pounds. And we're gonna go to you guys. Two days have passed, you make it to the funeral hall, you will bottomize somebody. So in total four days. Was the blue or red one? Yes. I don't think it matters. Um, and we also uh, plant him in a brothel. Oh. And um, we just get some of the stuff that's up around the brothel and put it on. That is so oh, just a... glitter? <laughs> No, the fluids and blood oil. No, 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 just a uh, blind, yeah. And you guys, you guys go to the funeral hall, huh? and Daniel, may you move your laptop? At the very end, 
You guys are coming from this direction. In my grave, I'm dead. You guys see what looks to be just one man standing by himself in front of a fountain or a little pond. He's wearing a cloak and a hood. He's looking down. If this guy says important like he says, he shouldn't be alone, right? He probably is. But... <clears throat> Can do a quick investigation check to see if there's any people Wrong like security hiding around. Um, fifteen plus. Seven. Twenty-two. With that, you do notice some rather peculiar creatures. Constructs of sort. Hey, you're right. But not just that. You both in something, both of your Roman religion. Different DCs because different. You have more of a feeling. Ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you allow me to have Obi help me? No. If I tell him, hey, Obi, remember when we're at church and he repeats some of the stuff they say there? Fair. For all advantage. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. That, yeah, I'm plus 20. Plus 4. Plus 20? <laughs> Sorry, it's a, a dirty 20. Okay. That's a 14 for me. <laughs> Both of you... I learned church because of him. <laughs> Both of you can sense there are wisp here. Just like little <laughs> angelic creatures flying around. Nacho's hair starts standing up. Angelic creatures? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, are you just fluffing out? Yeah, fluffing out. <laughs> Give me the bikinis. What do you guys do? Mm, these are celestials, right? Yep. And you look at six. So if you're not on the athletic, what are you? A ranger. I get advantage on <coughs> recalling information regarding celestials. Okay. And deal additional damage to them. And I can use animal handling on them. You already have advantage, you can't double down. Well, I can use insight. Yeah. Which is interesting. So, what do you do? Um, okay, so I don't know what you have planned, but I'm collecting a quite amount of runes. I still have a silence room. A room that's called Radiance of the Fae. What is that, Fae? Fae. And a couple of others. Do you think we should just... Well, we don't want to kill him either because we still need information, right? Yes. We need to knock him out. <clears throat> How far away are we? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, I'm sorry, it's because Daniel 80, told me, like, 90, 90, 90, I told like, hey, 100. you don't have to do combat. <laughs> and very many things. Combat. <laughs> 100. Okay, I bring it to small needle. <clears throat> I can <clears throat> technically hit him from here. And it will we'll shut, them, shut them down. Shut him down? Yeah. He can't breathe, he'll be paralyzed, and he'll be blinded. There's no other people, right? Mm-hmm. Well, my investigation only found these guys. Oh, I'm asking. No. No. And then, um, you said there was angels and celestials flitting about? Yes. Are those that would interact and help him, or no? Throw me inside. That's a 19 plus 7. Yes, they will interact. They will intervene. Also, we both of us have batteries. Which one do we want to use? Maybe saving throws. Yeah, mine is a plus 1 to AC. I so, saving throws sounds useful. Yes. What do you guys do? So, these angels will get involved unless we will try to harm him. Bring up the body. 
What are you going to do with that? Poison him with this. With lust. Hmm? With lust. Yeah. Roll me a religion. Does that even work? No, roll me Arcana. Both of you. Not a very good roll for me. Oh, sure. That's 21. Sure, man. 21? Yeah. You have a feeling as this, like a feeling of warmth coming upon you two. And then you just hear a voice and says, what is your business here? Is he behind us? No. No. No one behind you. Can I tell what spell this would be or no? Sure. What spell would it be? It's not a spell. He's it's yelling. He's, an, he's yelling? So he sees us. Or senses us. He senses you. Do you think he hears us? No. Okay. Do you want to be like the face of this thing where you go up and ask him? I'll just use my sending stone. You feel like you are being watched now by <coughs> these... <coughs> by these angels? Yep. <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, get by with them if it's not something we need to do at the moment. I don't want to deal with them. Uh, so, are you okay with me just responding? Sure thing. Using uh, sending... I'm gonna roll for stealth and try hiding inside one of the holes. <laughs> Huh? Uh, using sending, I just say we want information. We don't want to disturb you. 19. And yet I sense a dark energy coming from within you. 28. It's a cold heart down. from two creatures. Cold, cold heart. Is he using some kind of celestial magic or no? Yes. I have advantage and they have disadvantage on me. This um, isn't a save. It's like divine sense. You can't um, save against just. I don't know. I don't know. If it was a save. I just saw a lot of dice rolling early. And I'm like, let me just bring this up. He can't see me. <laughs> he can sense you. I've known these two creatures have taken souls before. State your business of why you are here. We just want information. We do not like taking souls. We do not relish in the fact, <clears throat> but we do what we have to do. Then speak your peace. Does that mean to tell him what we want? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy we want the information about your balls, right? Probably. Okay. <laughs> we want information on the orbs and a cobalt known as James. You wish to know about these two. And yet I do not see the faces of who I am speaking with. Um. By honor, I must know who I am confronting. You will attack when you find us, or when you see us. No. And yet I haven't striked first. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> My guardians right now sending all around you too. You may not see them, but they see you. <clears throat> I am above wants and needs. I am above what so-called biases these citizens have. I am a descendant of a deity here to serve. And it would be a sign of hand to try and pull something out of my bag without being noticed, right? You are currently surrounded, yes. <clears throat> Not, I don't care if they notice. <clears throat> him noticing. Sure, wrong way, okay. Because I'm going to go walk up to be more visible by him. Okay. So You have to move your character, too? Yeah. I'm just... I'm just moving via cover, so... Okay. So he can tell I'm getting ready. Um, and I'm just getting... The trophy system ready, just like so I can just grab it and throw it there on the ground. 
I do not know the device that you are placing. Oh, I'm not placing anything yet. No. I'm telling you, like, if shit hits the fan, that I can just... Throw in ready. Yeah, and... Behind cover. Behind cover. That's as close as I'll stay. Actually. I sense dark intentions. I sense a cold heart. And I also sense... Family. Speak your truth. The both of you. <clears throat> I just want my son back. He turns around. You see that he's not human. He's in fact just pure energy. His, You feel the warmth now. He is not wearing robes, like normal white robes. These robes are containing his divine energy within him. And he looks at you. Honesty from one, but only half. Where's the other you have so speaking of? Back here. <laughs> Step forth. If we are to commence battle. Wait, what? Um, no battle. Oh. <laughs> if we are to commence battle, I were to give you a fair and honorable fight. No tricks, unless you all begin with one. 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, that's my normal movie speed. He just, in six seconds, me casually just talking to him while sneaking in. You, Nacho. You now see in front of you a being of pure energy. Well, I've ever seen someone so luminous before. State your purpose. I wish to correct the wrong. Long ago, something was taken from my village. And now I am here. To retrieve it. The child you have spoken of. His mind corrupted. His will unbroken. But it is cracking. Their time is running short. Do you believe you are strong enough to take on the challenge? It doesn't matter. I have to. Sacrifice. And for you, what do you believe to gain from returning the orb from a village paused in time? The life's back. Part of my family. The information you wish to see is bestowed in the higher tower within the inner city. This holds both the energy source of the palace within the area and the lost sun. I am a being above all, unknown to the bias, only to the will and honor of what is here now. I know the sins you have committed both, the souls you have taken, but you yourself have been done wrong. If there were anything else, I would release you to continue on your will. But I have made a sworn oath to the ones they say as heroes here. You two are marked for death by them. And to spread my word along these lines within this confine of the city, I must slay thee both, or I will fall. Quick question, since you seem to be in a very talkative mood. Is your knowledge limited only to the organization, or do you have knowledge of everything? I will answer what you ask, to the best 
of my radiant abilities. We have friends that are also looking for missing family members. Mm. He begins to just groom, let's just be a radiant beard. Yes. The giant, as well as your half draconian friend. Yeah. Mm. I see them both. I see what lies ahead of them. And although I can provide you the answers to this, I am bound not to tell. Fair enough. Now, anything you want to know? Why does he serve the heroes? <laughs> but <laughs> um, knowing what they've done and what they will continue to do, I serve them to give church, to give will of the God within these walls, to give hope of what remains. Although. I understand the avatar of hope is soon to come. But I am in honor of both of you who have slain, nay, shall I say, captured the false guardian. Any bows before you both? Mighty warriors you are, against all odds they are faced. It is a shame we have not met on better terms. It would have been pleasurable to have spoken to another clergyman. Uh, one more question for the DM. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently two. Um, no, um, so, this is more of a uh, hypothetical. If I were to get a natural 20, would you allow me to use some clerical law to find a loophole and prevent this combat from happening? I know what you're going to do. Would you allow it, though? I need it from both of you. Ah, uh, from the both of us. But what if it's just a rolled natural 20? No, I need it from both of you, then. Both a rolled natural 20s. Damn. So either we take the guaranteed natural 20 deal, prevent combat, or we both roll at 20s. Now, I don't know about you, but I have shit luck. <laughs> Apparently today. <laughs> you have to decide on which one. You guys can't split it. Well, no, that's not how the deal works. You can roll, and if you're unhappy with the results, you take the deal. Do you want to take a deal or no? I don't know if this is worth taking a deal. I don't know how dangerous this encounter is. Is it the matter of how dangerous or the matter of do you really want to fight him? Technically speaking, we don't have to fight, we just run away. He would chase us. At least that's what... Implied. That was implied. Because if that's the case, then I could just leave instantly. I, I, you, I'm pretty sure you can get out. I feel almost all Because I get, um... What's it still called? Ethereal as a 7th level horizon walker if I can just blip out of reality <clears throat> so what do you want to do? so once more before we do this are you obligated to fight us or are you just obligated to make a show of effort? I'm obligated to slay you both may I be slain in combat myself and what if nobody dies? Are you still in trouble? I am still bounded by the word to do so. So if we fight to a standstill and we somehow manage to escape, that does not fulfill your oath. I believe you two are familiar with a promise of sorts. One in your past that you have faced. One that is never oh. escaping. Thank you, sorry. Bless you. As similar as to their persistence, I must do so myself. You can slay us at a later date. No. 
Ring check. <laughs> we really don't want to kill you. Yeah, that's the thing. You're the most polite person we've met. <laughs> like, in general. Yes. And I am ashamed to do so myself. Now, um, before we begin, I also did notice these statues that don't seem to be statues. Are they here for us or for you? They are the watchful eyes of the heroes. So if we destroy them, nobody knows what happens and... Well, now they do. <laughs> the task has hands already been sealed. I am bounded by rules of the law, of the heavens above and the devils below. To follow through with this. Do you think he's reviable? I don't know. Potentially. He's pure energy in a humanoid form. Maybe if I tease him, <laughs> that'll start his heart. I must Clear. inform you now. The battlefield takes place here in a site familiar. But traps the bounds. Can we get a data prep? You have made yourself aware here now. So, are you going to initiate or do we initiate? Set your places as what you see fit. Allow me to reel my guardians to make this fair. Like, can we just stall him out? Hmm? Can we just stall him out? No, we have to kill him. No, like... You would range him out? Not that so much as... As long as we don't initiate the fight, we take we have an infinite amount of time. Well, we can't walk and leave, though. We'd just be stuck here forever. I'm kind of scared of the companions you call. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. No. How are you on potions, by the way? Uh, I have four of each. Uh, okay, I'm gonna share some with you then. If you may. Here's ten. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He kind of walks over to you two. Using the staff as a walking stick. For what has come will be difficult. For the time being, you see him from within his sleeve. He pulls out what looks to be just a ball of light. And he gives it to you. And he pulls out another one. And he gives it to you. In times of crunch, he will restore you fully. He can't be healed like that. I know his bounds. And for this one, I've invoked the rule of the planes. What's that do? You can be healed. By magic or other means. This will not be fair if you are not fully capable of fighting. Like, I'm kind of scared. Like, is there a time limit to this? Or why we are in this? Why we begin this fight until the end? Okay, so as soon as I either die and I lose the ability to heal, or I win and I get the ability to be healed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Shall we take? And what if I keep it? Like, don't use it. Do I get to... They will dissipate after a day. <laughs> <laughs> you may take your places. I will give you all a chance. A fair chance. And I will move my guardians away. Where will you be? He turns around. War have begun. Whose funeral is it, by the way? His. Or ours. No, because he came here to mourn somebody. I think that's who he's going to mourn. My brother, Diaz. Damn, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been more affordable if I was right. He was another form like me. However, we do not know the rules of this land. And so, the heroes came and took my brother. You're going to let them take more people? By honor, I am bounded. And I apologize. We apologize too. Yeah. Plus, I don't think your god would care. 
if you break your honor <coughs> to these individuals. He just looks more, he just kind of pulls his cloak up, covering his, what you can tell are his eyes, or to believe are his eyes. Is he shedding tears? Probably. I want to like, yeah. is he like crying for, <laughs> is he crying for us or is he crying like, for us? Like, can himself? we just, it's okay, you don't need to cry. Well, you guys choose your places, or do you want to do that? Do you want to try to do the loop? <laughs> <clears throat> We're gonna keep doing the loophole, but I think you should laugh. Yeah. Everyone else. Right. You, Lux. Yes. You step in. Yeah, about what to say. Yeah. Can you move your uh, thing? Yeah. The scissors are just, you know, <laughs> chaos. <laughs> oh, look, the angel of more rolls. Holy crap. Nice. Yep. You're half that. It's only half. I'm more than y'all. <laughs> they, they are, they're sitting on a throne. The hammer to their side. You run to my palace, destroying my guards and desecrating my castle. <laughs> what is the reason? And Dex just kind of points. We need the heart of a fire giant. Hmm. Understandable. Giants contain grand and marvelous energy. Now, what do you have to say for yourselves? By the way, you are like dying. You are sweating like crazy. Mm. I can't. I can't think of a. I can't think of a line to say about this. Mm. I want to just. <clears throat> well. There you go. Oh. <laughs> You'd be able to scurry up. I, can someone help me out? Can we someone help me with a, with a line? I can't think of anything right now. A line for what? So I had to say response of like, you know, what I have to say for myself with the whole like giant bar- was barging into this castle. Sorry? You're about to... Sorry. <laughs> to be fair, your castle from the outside kind of looks like it needs more it needs more work done in the first place. And you insult me in my own home. I'm here to see your heart. What have I done to be wrong? And Dex just looks, looks at you. Okay, you haven't, you got, you, I barely heard anything. I barely know anything about the situation, about how, if this guy's actually a jerk or not. Dux just said, we are barging into a home, I told you. That's fair. Thievery. Huh? Thievery. Okay, so we're, okay. You're here to commit murder. <laughs> Dux just says, it wouldn't be the first time I had to do it. I need... And the and the fire giant speaks. Please, a moment before we begin. All right. Why? I see one of your hearts are affirmed by the actions going forth. <laughs> we devils and demons can see it all. More a strain than others. But I still sense none from you. I have seen many souls you and your compatriots have brought here. I have spoken with you. (laughs) And while it is not the largest name we have heard in centuries, the word of Nexus still flows through. Now... Who are you to so blindly follow orders? If you had asked me that about, I don't know, two days ago, 
I would not have a clear response. To be fair, I have always just been somebody who tends to just wander around, do what he has to do, not necessarily like worrying about what comes for tomorrow. Because if I'm being honest, my whole life has been nothing but chaos. But in that chaos, I have learned to just take one step at a time and do what must be done. Of course, we can argue the fact that maybe you are an evil giant, maybe I am just following orders blindly just to do whatever it is that feels that I'm being told to do right. Everything, you know what? I hate it. I hate not knowing anything. I hate being so unknowledgeable of all this stuff. But you know what? Even if I do not know nothing, even if I don't understand how everything is going, I am just going to commit to it. I am just going to do what must be done. And if my friend over here says that we need your, your heart in order to get things done, to possibly save our world and the future of all living creatures, then I'm going to do it. He ducks, looks at you. She lifts up her helm. You see a big grin and a smile on her face. And she says, Thank you. Alright. And the fire gi giant just laughs. Oh, ah, ah, ah. I don't sense nothing anymore. And they just stand up from their throne, swing their hammer to their side. Wait, does that mean you sense nothing? That you sense. Wait, wait. Time out. Does that mean you sense that I have no hesitation or nothing? This is my own, in my own soul, or is like you actually still feel nothing? That's the question. <laughs> I sense no hesitation from you. I sense no fear from you. <laughs> At least I get to kill a warm creature. And you and Duck prepare. Alright. Now, I gotta admit, I will say out of everyone's, his has the coolest set piece. I know, I mean, god dang. I mean, I gotta admit, these whole, like, you know, guardian things right here, these, like, little things that are watching. <laughs> they're over, outnumbered. They're, you know? Yes, you can tell, like, there's, this is dramatic, but, you know, this has a, there's, like, a contradiction. Because it's two against, like, a bunch of other, pe a bunch of other enemies, but, but it's then even... it's me and I does think it's still, against I think this imposing giant. I mean, God, and his two hellhounds. <laughs> I'm gonna just... Do you remember the rights from, um, what's it called? Witcher 3? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, with this, the Kazla. You spend two days traveling, taking up what little waste ends in it. You take on like animals and destroy their some destroy them. They are summoned, sent to stop you guys in your travels. Angel one of those, destroy of mosquitoes. But nothing stops you. You're welcome. Nothing stops you in your party. You make it to what looks to be a town that was once trying to be built up but left abandoned. Supplies left all over, homes half built. But in the center of this there's a tavern. It looks to be while the exterior is decrepit. The inside looks well. The party looks towards you, informs you that inside there they know. The warlock knows that there lies one of the ghosts. They'll stay guard outside while you and their paladin walk in. You walk forth. Axe in hand, weapon prepared, shell on your back. And you open the door. And inside, you see what looks to be a comfy tavern. Light warming coming from outside, nearly empty. Some barrels on the side of the counter with a few drinks poured. The tables have just been set. And the carpet beneath you... You would have believed that through this terrain around you had been muddied, and yet it is stainless. Not trusting in mud in there. No. And there, sitting, sitting on the chair, is a being, looks to just be made of vines and leaves, sitting on the counter. 
And now you recognize this. You recognize this creature. Oh, it just dawned on me. Back in the original arena. No, don't. <laughs> she had spoken to you that you will be seeing her once again. You don't remember? Well, I don't know if it's the same, if it's the right person. Hmm. Because you said arena, and I don't know who would I remember from the arena. Because I remember stuff. <laughs> I remember seeing a pile of leaves that moves. Uh, the only thing that I remember that is vaguely familiar Take to it. that is uh, um, when the gigantic creator, uh, creator, the gigantic crater be came to be. Same one. Okay, so I was right. Yeah. I was right. You step in, the paladin following behind. <sighs> Two giant creatures. The creature looks to the sides. Hmm. I knew this day would come. Please, take a seat. Or are you here to just get straight to business? <laughs> I mean, I just came to talk. So. And she kind of gestures over to the seat beside her. <clears throat> and your big friend can also sit with us. Although I don't believe the weight of the chairs, the stools will be able to withstand them. And he just looks at you and says, like, I'll, I'll stay standing. Okay. So, she said just to sit next to her, right? Yep. Okay. You just hear the large thunks of fleet come, thunks of metal coming from behind you. That chair's gonna break. They're not sitting on it. <laughs> just imagine hearing, <laughs> like a car horn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, as you sit down, you tower over this little creature. So, I understand the reason you are here. Information for the one you are looking for. For I have spoken this once before. I have two people I'm looking for now. <laughs> but I was only speaking of the one. I know you are missing them. More recently. The one you speak so as Whistler. Is it not? You're not wrong. No. What would you like to know? I guess just... <laughs> Start blessing your whole stuff. <laughs> no, that's a joke. Uh, hmm. Basically, I just want to know where he is and if he's alright, if he left because he had to, or if it was because he didn't care. Your friend did not leave for reasons you have believed. Their heart is strong. But their mind, once broken, connected back when the Guardian fell. Long-awaited dungeons, long slumbering creatures, awakened when the Guardian fell. The experiments, the The tests still had run on them, had broken, and now they recall it all. A member of my family, but an enemy of yours. I know of which they are at. I know of the other guardians as well. Not guardians, <laughs> although the name is fitting. Where the other family members are too. What exactly are y'all guarding? 
we all guard something close to us. One is honor, other greed. Another, a sense of love. But we all take something different as ghosts. So basically, so those are the three. There's still three left. You're persistent. Or perceptive, I should say. Yes. Another guards to recreate. Another guards to forget. And the one that is guarding yours. Well. They are guarding hope. <laughs> yet they do not know it yet. You will understand that I cannot go out without attempting a fight. All my abilities and capabilities. I don't know. I don't really want to fight you, if I'm honest. You've been nothing but helpful thus far that I know of. But my activities will not stop. And your compatriot here he gestured over to the paladin, essentially. Just pretending it's a normal bar night. They wish to take me to... They used to show me justice. After all, I have not pitted just only man against man, but family against one another. <clears throat> if I were in the three hills right now, I will be in the second level. Bad, awful, worse. So, they're awful? Yeah. <clears throat> Not the worst, but... We're the fire giant. Hmm? What level is it at? One. So bad. Yeah. And worse would be, like... <laughs> the heroes. They don't deserve to be in the three... They've done nothing wrong. Zero would be in the third. What do you mean they've done nothing wrong? Well, in their eyes and everyone else's. In their eyes, they've done nothing wrong. They would be in the third. <laughs> that's kind of like, well, no, because we actually know we're doing stuff that's not exactly good. But, man. Now. Why should we not fight? For our assistance, yes. But I deserve to show, be shown justice. Do I not? What exactly do you mean by justice? Because I have a feeling they mean two different things here. Mm. I believe your compatriot can understand that I deserve to be put to death. After all, one of their one of their allies they once traveled with, <coughs> well, they stepped into the wrong area, and I pitted them once against one another. You can guess who survived. What are the machine things called? The paladins? Oh, so that's the paladin. Yes. After hearing that, Sakaza is just kind of watching them, wondering what's going through their minds. <laughs> the history. Yeah. So. Do you... Do you wish to engage now? No formalities, no worries. What type of fight would this be? Exactly. <laughs> well, I believe you are one of the strongest, physically speaking, within your little family. Mm, that depends. <laughs> I believe I should release mine too. Everything that I have. So, doesn't answer my question. And my question is, are we going to knock each other out or? <laughs> It'll be as the paladin over there would like. Justice to be served. 
Zakaza looks at the paladin. And what does that mean to you? Because I want to hear it. They made me kill my sister. Holy crap. I want to see her avenged. I know you do not see it like that. I'm going to ask a painful question. Are you ready for it? You're going to betray him? This is a question. This is is going to be... Oh, at a game? I have no idea. Okay, what's the question? (laughs) You made me forget! Hang on. How could you do that in any way? How's it charging? So what were we talking about before that? You're asking a painful question because he... He revealed it was his sister that he had to kill. Now I remember. Would it be what your sister wants? (laughs) Roll me a persuasion. Finish it off with or else. (laughs) (laughs) And it it changes to intimidation. (laughs) That would be good, but Skazza's having... Or... No. No. No, no. No one ever wants to take the deal. That's a six. That's a six. She sucks at that. Can I get a lifesaver? Yeah. Have as many as you want. Save me something later. <laughs> so, that was a six. No, I don't have any room here. Just leave it. <laughs> you don't have room here either. Put it behind you. You kind of put us in a little. He says. Can you put this in a little more? My sister would want to be avenged. She wouldn't want to be forgotten. So she wouldn't want her killer to be. She wouldn't want her to live. But she's not forgotten. You're still alive. You are still remembering her. And yet she still lives. And he gestures over to her. Mm, That's true. But... (laughs) Me trying to figure out how to word things. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand wholeheartedly what happened here. By the way, I have no idea what accent I am doing and where it came from. Um, I know that things were done, <laughs> stuff happened, not to put it lightly, but tell me about the day. Tell me about what happened there. I'm just curious now. Roll me a persuasion check. Mother fluffer. <laughs> You're pushing his patience. I'm always pushing people's patience. I wouldn't be so calm without it. Everyone's too scared to. Eight. You don't have any additional persuasion? No. My turn oh, is zero. You have like a inspiration, remember? Oh, I do have an inspiration. Do you want to use it again? It was not a part of inspiration. I forgot about that too. So what, she just busts out her like loo when she just no, won't she the you back tell fight. me the bad fight. Won't no, you tell me the story? The I only yeah. have my loot. Your father's loot. She's like, are you sure about that? <laughs> what? Would that even work? <laughs> yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Part of me is like, I want to, but at the same time, not really. <laughs> but th- this is a sentimental moment. So I'm guessing he, he, he does not want to talk to me about his sister. With an eight, no. No, not with an eight. She just kind of looks at them. Look, I'm just trying to get information. I need to know everything before I do anything. If someone killed your family, someone forced you to kill your own, what would you do? True. Because needless to say, I would see the same as you. But I still want to know what exactly what was going on. 
she said that you entered a territory you weren't supposed to. Well, Did you know that? Again, out of curiosity. My sister and I were paladins. Yes, you are a paladin. We were investigating whether it could be the trade of slavery underneath the city. I'm trying to remember if we went into the city. Main city. Main city. So. We had found them there. They probably nice. <laughs> They're creatures that overwhelmed us, eventually making us out of our suits. There, under her form of justice, we were both to fight each other to the death. We tried to resist and fight back. But compared to her numbers, we had no choice. And she's just there sipping a drink. Well, that's understandable. She's letting me ask my questions. Um, okay, that is understandable. She looks at her. What's your defense? <laughs> she's just like, can I ask why they had to fight? Just out of curiosity. This is a lot of curiosity. <laughs> the place was here. The place is here? Yes. Do, I... Can you see the future? Well, I saw this here, didn't we? Same group, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. There are certain events that might be set for. I feel like we're getting a headache. <laughs> Anyways. There are certain events to be set for. And while it is... But I wouldn't say it's disheartening. Things must happen for other things to go on. Like a fight? To the death. Or if they did not kill each other... The motivation for him to come here, the reason for him to be here and bring you along, did not come. I feel like I'd be here either way because of Whistler. Yeah. So. And I foretold that. If you foretold it, why did you let them fight? All must happen for what the reason. Then what was the reason? One that cannot be revealed yet. Oh, that's a pain. Yet understandable. <laughs> no. What justice form will you seek? There are multiple? What's the other one? You've only told me one so far. And that was to fight to the death. You can join me. But I can't. Did you say that out loud? Hmm? I could. <laughs> I feel like that would make the validation be like... <laughs> she, she thought of it. She didn't say that. And she said, join me. Slay the paladin in their party. And nothing will ever leave this room. And that's why she thought about it. Didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yes. That is a... Complicated thing. Which should I choose? Hmm. The problem says, like, we've gotten to know you. We've assisted in the guild hall's issues and helped. We saved them. Now you unsave them. <laughs> so it's just like... It's like getting up away from the pound and then throwing it back in the pound. Oh. She just kind of looks at the pound again. More like grabbing for the pound and throwing it to the street. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, apparently this fight needs to happen. And it's a fight to the death. I don't plan on losing. Even though I don't really want to kill you either. And you see then the goblin and the paladin both speak at once. So what are you gonna do? One that was creepy yet awesome at the same time. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> She's just drawing this out. Um, <laughs> Do you side with Nor or with Oshido? Shut the fuck up. Don't worry about his thing. He's uh, not smart. <laughs> I, I thought that was smart. <laughs> I didn't understand what it was, but okay. Well, both of you want to fight to the death. And you I don't plan to. Die. No. Oh. <laughs> What makes you think I'm gonna fight them both? 
He's like, even though you want to fight to the death, bring it on. Why would I fight them to the death? I don't want to, but there doesn't seem to be a, any other option. And then you just hear a familiar voice pop up. There's always another option. I haven't heard from you in a while. Yes, you haven't heard from me in a while because the deal hasn't been made in a while and you kind of just kind of forgot about it. And I've been out doing other stuff. And also Zara was annoying me. Also Notch was getting really creepy. And then Lux was kind of doing things. So yeah, I didn't want to be part of all that stuff. It was getting very um, dark. So I was, you know, I just decided not to go. you missed the whole orgy party. Mm, orgy, orgy, you say that. And then there's nothing ever comes up of it. Dude, we were literally swamped and come. She's saying this? They, I don't know if they can see Nezrock or not. They can. <laughs> okay, so she, so she's, she's not looking insane, which is good. See, you know this, she this little, insane. this little creature thing is gonna just do like that. They're saying they want to fight. Great, awesome. You have no reason to be there then. There's also another form of justice, and that's called fairness. And you don't need to fight this. True. Literally, they have four people here. Well, then two can fight. You know, you know, you know, they can fight. Do you have to? And the pallet's ugly, perplexed. The <laughs> goblin, the little creature, knows. Already knew this. <laughs> and so then he goes like, nah. We still have a deal to make. And, um... What deal are you talking about? Well, hurry, hurry this up and get you to your guy so that way I can finish up my pack. You know, Amber? You just want to leave me, don't you? Listen, I mean, I plan on rescuing Amber regardless, but I thought we were becoming friends. You didn't call my name. You didn't leave a message for me. You didn't even leave a smoke screen or a little dinner for me when I woke up after a night of parties. How do you remember me? Do you remember me? What's my name? Nesrock. And see, that's why you're my favorite. Because I say your name when you want me to? Heck, I'll say it for you in the most lewd way if you want me to. No, 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 no. Sorry, I have other people to say that for me. You would not be good. Honestly. Only because you're small. I'm too much woman you... for you. Oh. 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 You did not just say I am small. Oh. 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 And show me, prove me otherwise. Oh man, oh, just a flight with the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You want this? You want to see how much of a big person I am? Big boy. Hey yo. I know where all your other friends are at. I know what they're all doing. You know what? I don't like this. This is making me upset. <laughs> oh, don't get emotional. <laughs> I'm invoking the law, the law of duel. <laughs> I can't believe you made me do this. <laughs> In front of everybody. And Our porch just merged into one. He suddenly is... Dude, are you okay? You insulted me. And you didn't even call me first. I had to come to you. <laughs> do you want... I'll yell your name as many times as you want. Oh, wow. So yeah, don't do. get mad at me if you get tired. Too late. I'll forgive you once the duel's over. What duel? Before you die. And then the gutter's over. First off, if I die, your I uh, contract is kind of null and void. I you know. would owe Hamburg. I know. But... I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, God. What the hell is going on? Come here, Nezrock. Oh, the, the poor baby. And the sits up and says, I'm sorry, but I took a deal with your little friend here early on. Oh, really? I didn't know that. You're a two-timer! Sorry. And he says, hey, you gotta move quick. But this was before you. Why did he suddenly turn so flamboyant? You're too, you were too young to understand this. <laughs> And like she says, by the rule of the invocation of law of duel. I'm guessing, who am I fighting? Neither me or them. Am I fighting Nazrak? No. <laughs> you are fighting my strongest. Mm-hmm. Even one I can control under summoning. Oh shit. <laughs> one 
that I fear you will die from. And then she says, like, but if you're so big of a woman, you'll take anything on, won't you? <laughs> Again, Nesrock. Big contract. But also, we... Mm. And um, she sits up and the paladin says, do you think you can handle this? Depends. I might if I'm, I might not. If I don't, don't make it, I love them. We'll try to win our fight fast <clears throat> and get to you and help you. But you have to be careful. A lot of things could go wrong. But like I said, don't make it, I love them. And she says, uh, the, god, the little creature speaks up, before I go, I am Trick the Unburden. Your ally, Whistler, better to be known as Murder now. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so Whistler is now Murder? Whistler was always Murder. He shall always be Whistler to me. But Murder... I'm sorry, I can't imagine yelling Murder in bed. But you can't imagine what's <laughs> Right? That's the weird thing. They are in the old brothel. You have taken over within the inner city. They made a small basement for them. And that is the information you wish. Is that correct? Mm, yes, it is. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm fighting your strongest? Mm -hmm. You'll be finding them here. And this is such a nice tavern. Everything can be fixed. You're not wrong. And the paladin stands up. Good luck. Same to you. And you see them both step out, or as soon the paladin steps out first, as she, the little creature opens, opens the door, she turns around. <laughs> she says, "You should get to the other end, as once these once I close this door, there will only be one allowed to leave." <laughs> like right here. They they shake their head. And you see uh, her, by the law of duel, invocation of all, I unburden myself of all creatures to fight everything and all. My strongest of chains, my weakest of links, come forth, servant of evil. Yeah, no, Sakas is now just mumbling, like, Nezra keep paying me. Ass. Satan. He heard it too. <laughs> she said his name. He you heard see it. See around you as the girl, as the uh, little creature steps out. The realm, the world, uh, the outside area with all the lights turned to dark. There's still light in this room. You don't know what's admit, what's causing it to emit it from. You can see clearly it's in a room, but there's only two creatures here: the servant of evil and Sakaza. It's you and them. It's not the first time I've taken on a big boy and I don't plan on dying today. <laughs> and now we'll go back to you two. No big boy. Just small boy. What do you two do? No, oh, is he crying? Roll perception. What a passive 19 pass. <laughs> no, because if you go strip out passive 20s <laughs> and it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Although the DC is like 5, so how can you fail? 18. 25. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see little radiance of light shedding from them. And they fall to the ground, dissipating as almost instantly they hit. They just walk forward. <sighs> Fuck. I'm struggling. Fuck. <laughs> you trip. Fuck. You trip. <laughs> as a ranger, I shouldn't be doing that. It's embarrassing. You see him trip a lot. And I just say, hey, don't cry. <clears throat> if either of us gonna die, we should enjoy a good meal. And I pull out the lunch Zilla gave me. 
with a special honeycomb. Are you gonna enjoy this nacho? I should. <laughs> <laughs> Starts poisoning all over the Every, Every time. Everybody, epic fight us. Lunch. Picnic. Picnic. And you know, I just grab the special lunch and I hand a special honey towel to Nacho. I'm like, we can share this one. I have a ratchet one. <laughs> Guess. <laughs> no, this is, <laughs> this is special from Zelo. Here, here you get this one. And I give the ethereal bean. <laughs> Last one. This is such a weird sight. <laughs> yeah. Well, because we like this guy. Yeah. The first has to we did it be. <laughs> so maybe maybe the other two are the murderous ones. <laughs> I wonder how the other two are doing. <laughs> They're probably talking out there. If, we, if we're not reserving to violence, surely they aren't. <laughs> I tried. It's no rocks fault. He oh. did nothing. So I give him some <laughs> He was food. emotional for some. I, I don't even reason. know what the ration is. I just pull it out, grab the honey tail, and go. <laughs> we're supposed to share that honey tail. Wait, what did you do? The honey tail on top of two rations. He oh. cuts it? I guess. Wait, you... The rash is covered in honey tail. I'm sorry. No, You're yeah, the whole careful. thing it's going to poof. It poofed. Now there's just fluff everywhere. <laughs> That's why you don't get Quickly, it quickly. Does. Yeah, and I give him the unbroken one. You give him the unbroken one. You feel... You don't feel no discomfort. You just feel warmth. Not like it's overbearing, burning you. Not like you are trapped. But that you are not alone. That's creepy. And you hand them the honey tail and they grab it with their hand. You don't even believe it's a hand. It just looks like a nub. They grab it. (laughs) They don't singe it. They don't burn it. They look at it. And they say... What a spectacle. Yeah, just don't do what I did, apparently. Yeah. I don't remember how to eat these things. Now, here's where the emotional manipulation comes in. <clears throat> yeah, it was for my husband. Well, I guess he'll be left alone with six kids to care for by himself and run a business. Same as my brother. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Your brother was a father. He was. He's my father. Yes. So you'll be killing a father and son today. And by the rules of honor, I must. <laughs> Can I roll religion? <laughs> rule of honor. What? For what? Uh, what can I do about this rule of honor? Is there any way I can know it? Sure. That's a 19 plus 6. That's a 25. You want to fight the rule of honor? We don't want to fight him. We just want to leave this in a way where none of us fight. Leave this untainted man. Leave him as is. Yeah. It feels like trying to fight the Pope Turtle. Yeah. It feels like what? (laughs) Trying to fight the Pope Turtle. Yeah. He is a Pope though. (laughs) Yeah, it's like, you're so good, we don't want to hurt you. Just just stay there. No, don't fog up for us. <laughs> fog up for us. Just, just stay there. And he just, uh, with that 19... 25. 25. You are able to know... Munch. Munch. Long ago, there, are, there were packs made by certain people to continue on certain ideologies mm-hmm. through any means necessary. Their reason is so that way no one can forget them. And they took on their symbols, traveling the lands and telling those to not forget the reasons. If you do not want to fight him, you have to fight the reason. And the reasons of heroes? No. He's the reason of hope. Mm-hmm. So we're, we are going to fight the god of hope, though. No. He is to fight the current symbol of hope. Which is? Are you sure you want to know? Yeah. All night. 
No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> no. Kentucky Smash. <laughs> Is a title that is passed on from one to another. So that way those can't forget. Or in better terms, those are reminded of it. They live through different generations. And they continue. You must kill Conquest. Their Conquest. <laughs> That's Cobalt. Nope. No, not a Cobalt. It's their Conquest. You guys, every generation has a different conquest. What, Maybe it's murder. Can I just say that? What if we kill conquest? <laughs> the creature look, look at the being looks to you. In doing so, you remove the reminder for all hope. You don't deserve any black in your soul. But you have been hurt enough, both of you. I do not wish to cause any more harm that has been dealt. Eh, we're gonna do it ourselves anyway. Yeah, just... We'll take him on later. We just want you to leave alive and so safe. who is the current embodiment of conquest? A human. A vagabond. He travels long and far. He is in these cities, though. <laughs> So we should probably get some cows on it. Right now. Are there any notable features about the mode that suggest <coughs> no. a human? As others, their armor is tattered. Their weapon is a javelin and shield. Oh, fuck, we have to kill Gilbert. <laughs> you have to kill what? Gilbert. Oh. But their skills are immeasurable. Yeah, it sounds like Gilbert. <laughs> sounds like Gilbert. He's not in the town, though. In the city. Wait, did he like Gilbert a monk? Yeah. He was everything. Oh, God. Well, makes sense. Can we take him on later, like with our full tea? This will have to be done today. <laughs> so what if we like run away? Like we say we will, and then we run away. How fast can you run? <laughs> you, as a man of cloth, know if you are to trade one life, you must trade for another. And if neither is this confirmed, then I must forego. And finish what has to be done. So we buy a day. Do we want to kill Gilbert? I, I'm just Gilbert. It sounds like Gilbert. No, it's like, <laughs> listen, do we want to kill this guy? No. No. By the way, you said you're the newest embodiment of hope, yes? I am one of the beings of hope. Was your brother one as well? No. They were the previous one. And they were a previous symbol. Of honor. What if one of us takes up the mantle of hope and spreads it around? Once conquest is defeated, another has to take a new symbol. So there has to be another conquest. As always, the cycle continues. <clears throat> then does that mean we just kill a second conquest again after that? I think one of us becomes conquest. No. Thank God. One of their type. A new follower has been chosen. For conquest already? <laughs> Listen, dude, we really don't want to kill you. We're, we're trying to give you every option to. And I wish to be honest with you. I do not wish to lie. I do not wish to lead you to a trap of any sort. And I apologize. Who's the bigger threat you were conquest? I cannot boast, but I believe you'll have more troubling time with me. So we will struggle to fight you more than we would struggle to fight Conquest. They nod. Okay, you want to take on Conquest? Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Well, based on the day we're having, Conquest is going to be like one 12 year old kid. So. <laughs> <laughs> it, all right. Just so you know, by the way. I, I'm meant to kill you. Like, I can. You know, I hate Celestials. But you're one of the good ones. <laughs> he nods and he says, I know. I know, he's one of the good ones. <laughs> Alright, um, we'll go find Conquest then. But wait. Huh? 
I must pardon the gift. As this is. Oh yeah, here. Give it back to me. <laughs> yes, they were getting on each other's nerves. Yeah. I must pardon the gift. Hopefully, we meet on better terms. And if you were sending, for some reason, need medical attention, there is a clinic. How far away are we? Two days away? Yes. So hopefully you don't have to watch it. <laughs> I know what you trial you must face forward after the rescues of today. While one of you can withstand what is to come, the other is not prepared. I'm sorry. <laughs> you need, you should have gotten the gun. It's okay. I'll look at the flowers. I'll look at the bunnies. <laughs> And although the means are locked behind certain rules, I want to give you the chance you deserve. And you just see him like grab both your orbs, squish them, and just kind of twist it around so it turns from like a bright white to a solid yellow. And he hands it towards you, Nacho. Thank you. It almost looks like one of the relics. It'd be about this size. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a replacement so you can restore time for just a tiny bit. No. Damn it. I apologize for my power is not that strong. But situation's off to me. This is for you. For you to give the chance to fight within the realm of what is to be the titan of humanity. This is your ascension. No, oh, you got here. What do I do with it? I, you guys have fishes. I just... Do you have fishes? I just... I just, I just <laughs> you're like, do I hatch it? No, no, just, 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 you sit on it. You sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. Clap, I think I broke it. <laughs> you thought it for sure. No, you're doing fine. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. Is it supposed to sink into me? <laughs> no, no, it's supposed to... Other way around, it's supposed to go into you. That's what he said. He as soon as he sits on it. Um, <laughs> I love messing with Nacho. And Nacho doesn't know you're messing with him. <laughs> no. That's what makes it funny. You know, this isn't the first time you showed something else. <laughs> of what? This isn't the first time you shoved something up Miguel's character's butt. <laughs> What's the first time? <laughs> the turtle. <laughs> the turtle? Club sandwiches. I don't remember showing a club sandwich up his ass. That's correct, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Club sandwiches is the group of... The Ventures to uh, Oh, oh, okay, okay. Now, you should have said that. This is a so, well, this is Daryl's first time showing something up that shows that. You are saying all this and talking like normal, then you kind of zoom, zone out as you're like, walk, like, zoom, part of this like liminal white space. And then in front of you stands 12 doors, each adorned with the symbol of this. Cool. I had a and special 13th door. <laughs> You're special. I'm special. Which symbol would we be partaking? I'm a special boy. <laughs> Is there a way to be behind the doors? Or oh, <laughs> Not just like looking under the cracks to see if there's a crack. <laughs> no. Can I give him insight? Sure. Hey, what do you want? <laughs> or do you just want to choose randomly? I don't know what that tool wants. Do you want knowledge? Do you want the ability to change time? Reality? I feel like I already do that. <laughs> Space? Yeah, if we that. Do you want to know the most... <laughs> be, do you want to know how to get to the most prosperous position? How to take people to the worst position? What else is there? You're supposed to know this. <laughs> uh, do you want to be helpful in restoring life? Do you want to restrict people? Do you want to give everyone freedom? Do you want order? What is not you want? Freedom sounds nice. Freedom for everybody? He doesn't get to choose that. 
Well, he just chooses freedom. No, I know, but I'm just like, this is for sure. Are you sure freedom for everybody? Do you make it sound like a bad thing? No, I'm just, are you sure? <laughs> freedom from responsibility. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> just let him choose a door. I will say, if, since freedom came to your mind, the blue one shines a little. There With two. the squigglies. Mm-hmm. The little light one? This one, oh. this one shines a little. That, that represents freedom. Yeah. Freedom, knowledge, time, space, logic, soul, life, nothingness, hope, doom, um, order, and anger. Dude, we did this so long. Is it pathetic on doom then? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it doesn't have to be doom for yourself. It could be doom for others. It can be doom for Nacho. Doom for others. Because pretty sure when I did a test, I got doom. The emptiness thing. And I think the green one over there. I don't know what that is. Logic? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So which one but does this Nacho is Nacho though? Not Luca. Yeah. No logic. No logic. No logic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does Nacho choose? But yeah. Freedom is the light blue one is all I'm gonna say. You said more. I said more, but it's because I love this, so. Are there any words on the door or is it just it's just those symbols, symbols. you just heard zero's voice that's it i look behind me is there a way to go back no <laughs> you're surrounded by all these doors is there a way for me to go in no you're just out there with the guy who's currently eating the honey tail good isn't it and they shake their head nod their head i wonder if this is what it felt like when they did this thing i'll just do not you choose doom you choose doom? I'm curious about it. <laughs> you see a skull. Ah, this must be the good one. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> you know, yeah. Look that paw, skull on paw, skull on door. You decide. <laughs> you look at the glowing one. <laughs> Freedom. Yeah, no. I understand. <laughs> this does. Because Nacho doesn't invoke doom on his friends, he invokes doom on others. Let me try helping you. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's like, wait, I'll take the cancer out of you and I'll put it in him. <laughs> you walk up to the door. The door looks very, the handle looks very sleek. This metallic is not shining, but rather it's just smooth. Do you open the door? Look at my hand, look at the door. Look back at my hand. Skull hand, skull door. Reaches out, <laughs> makes too much. Grabs handle. He yeah. starts opening it. Looks at other hands. He's fire. Like oh, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. You open the door as soon as you grab the handle and look at your other hand. It was too late. You feel a other sense of dread, but not to you. To those you choose it, you don't know what the feeling is or what control it is, but you feel like a little. Like a little coat is pasted over you, and you look down, and in the center of the coat is the symbol. Did you see a door too when you did this? And you just dropped back, and you can now see his little jacket. Hey, look, it matches my thing. You idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you choose Doom? My option were this or that. This is more recent. <laughs> you had no door. I will mean, look familiar. I mean, I'll be screwed if like I ever have to give up the power. Well, then, then it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> um, by the way, I don't know if you know this, uh, but those that are doomed, that is their end. But it doesn't have to be their friend's end. It's just their end. And those around them. No, not those around them. He just chooses their those. End. There, but and, I, I no, I meant like I know. But yeah. although I've taken civil liberty to do a lot of different stuff, so this yeah. may change. Um, but yes, doom. No, is it like the cape part of me or <laughs> no? No, you don't get one. You just get the cool jacket. You see his wings. Since what did you have for? Oh, what do you mean? 
Maybe you know, you now know. the hand motions the Casa did earlier make sense. Oh, you can see these? Oh yeah, you're a god now. <laughs> wait, how did he, oh, wait. he was a god earlier, wasn't he good to defend people? Do no. I get to open a second door later? No. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Matching motifs. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, maybe, I don't know the rules of this world. Uh, but now you can choose in your time to take an ability score improvement or a feature. feature. What I miss? He became a god. Really? Yeah. That's minor. Very minor. Yeah. His dad's mad at him. But we don't have to kill this guy. Doom. We have to kill Conquest now. So. <laughs> I feel targeted, but okay. In your eyes, did I change? They nod their head. He's he he can probably see my wings and stuff. Was it for the better or for the worse? Or is it like the You're stronger. Depends. I believe in the power within your hands. You have the ability to control it. That's creepy. I don't know if I do. I'm guessing it's neighbors. Like neighbors. Yeah. You can control what fate has for this. And although it may be difficult, you are no stranger to adversity. So like was his response like <laughs> I was overreacting <laughs> it did it make sense for him to respond like that the power you have chosen is a difficult one one that very few are able to handle and not hurt others they care for um. but once again you have you have faced difficult challenges I am to believe <laughs> with your ally, our lives, you can use it for your own. I'll do my best. What symbol is everyone? He's Doom. You're. I'm the. Oh, yeah. Fan one. Yes. And you're. What was your symbol? I don't want to say fire, but I could be wrong. I, I think she picked this one. No. Maybe. Probably. I don't remember. I think she picked Void. Okay. Well, interesting. Set of groups. Um, but yes. Failed session. With this... Failed not yet. session? It's a joke. Um, you two sit up as he sits there enjoying the honey towel. The, the angelic creatures kind of see your... see you. See what you are. <clears throat> Can I see them now? Yes. Could you see them before? Yes. Could I see them before? No. Until they made themselves apparent. But now they're fading out, but you can still see them. You see their outlines and everything. And these are the angelic creatures? Yes. Okay. Yeah, really glad we didn't fight this guy. I, th I think we could have taken him on. Maybe you can. I can't hurt them. I could help you hurt them. <laughs> Well, I guess you would have to focus on him when I focused on anything else. He looks like the same thing that these guys are. I don't think I could hurt him either. <laughs> <laughs> my confidence is quickly going. Like, my little old knife. Goes, slices through nothingness. Damn. Magic step, weapon. Step, 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 nothing. I can cast magic weapon on it. You get hit, lose concentration in my knife. <laughs> and with that, we end our session. <laughs> What? Combat? Nothing. I guess it took a while. Yeah. My paranoia. What? My brain is going, I can do this! There's a little part of me that's going, can you do? Can you? I mean, who knows, maybe we'll be dropped in. Who knows what's going to happen. I'm just, I hope what's her name is probably a dude. What's his name survives? <laughs> To tell my kids I love them if I die. Okay. Now, who, here's a serious question. I don't know his name. Who would you want to take care of your kids if you do die? If I do die? Yeah. That's a hard question. Would you want Nacho, Zero, or Lux? Well, currently the only one with kid experience is you, Zaro. Don't give me a reason. <laughs> Just phase in. Phase <laughs> out. <laughs> No. Because I figured Cynthia would stay with 
plot. Probably. There, there's a good chance that would happen, yeah. But that, that, I have a feeling that would be more for choice than anything else. Found it. I don't know. What cool. was it? Bathroom. Uh, the thingamabobber. Yeah. The, the motor's thing not working. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't use it, so. Isn't it, like, supposed to prevent steam and stuff like that? Yeah. Stealing? Steam. steam. <laughs> okay. We do that, and it, like, shoots anybody oh, who steals something. Oh, okay. The, the fan thing got turned on. Yeah. Yeah. Although, congratulations, everyone. What do you think? Okay, but now that means that you just have to do two commenting.